Last time on the dynamics of good and evil. Uh, the crew. Talek the Wabbit Paladin, Rania the Halfling Druid, Dashkin the Barbarous Dragonborn, Bundle the Tabaxi Ranger, and Mephisto Bard Feliana made their way across the northern shores toward the Three Half Moons Hostel. The crew spotted a bandit gang in possession of a stone giant, and they made their way across the Estjin River to avoid a desperate encounter. They managed to make it to the Three Half Moons and warned Xenia of the impending danger, to their knowledge. She took it rather well, and the crew decided to make make fluff happen involving a broken forest, a drinking contest, an almost dead innkeeper, and a very, very snowy inn room. And that is where we come back to our heroes. Oh yeah, and Rania is now Ranyet or something like that. And that is where we have popped right back in to the Three Half Moons Hostel where our heroes are about to make their next move. Yeah, I imagine Dash is just still bundled in, in, as, in as many blankets as possible. Meanwhile, I said fine. <laughs> yeah, D Dash just gets up from the floor and uh, you just hear nothing but cracks and pops. Like, oh! Run your why? I another room to get I me. know, he's saying this to himself. <laughs> Without realizing, oh yeah, Feliana's still probably asleep. Didn't you spend a night in her room? Yes. Ooh. you. <laughs> but yeah, Dash will, if Feliana's still asleep, Dash will try to head downstairs and wait for everyone else without waking her up. Run you into the room, fiddling with stuff. Hush you. <laughs> Bundle actually woke up early to work on a poison. What would I have to roll to work on? Another freaking call. What happened? <laughs> woke up and tried to sneak out of the room without waking Peliana up if she was still asleep. He also spoke out loud right before realizing, oh yeah, I'm in Fell's room. <laughs> Would I have woken up from that? <laughs> Would you have? I don't know, do don't you? Know. Roll a will save. I think that'd be a con save. Yeah, I think that's that that a con save. Oh, okay. That would make sense. Alright, no, no, no real DC for it, though. Yeah, just. Yeah. Roll for consciousness. Eh, you know what? Uh, dash, one or two? Uh, two. It's a two Fel wakes up. Fel is dead asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, Dash <laughs> lets her sleep and tries to sneak downstairs. Or sneak out of the room. So, uh, apparently Bundle was trying to roll for, um, witchcraft yes. or something? Poison. Oh, yes. Okay. Poison, yes. Uh, what role is that? Uh, what are you using? I still have those white mushrooms that I had from the from the under from the under uh, underpass. Sorry, underpass. And I believe I still have three psychedelic mushrooms. Can I get a okay. gum or something. I'm going to see if I can. Form some type of um, toxin that, that can either debilitate de debilitate the mind or at least uh, cause confusion. Is that All what they do? All right. Roll. Roll an arcana. Okay. Uh, ten. You make a weak 
a weak psychedelic poison. That is the DC. Hmm. Wait. The, the, the 10 is the DC? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I mean, you met the DC. Yep. Usually you need to meet to succeed. This is true. But, hmm. Well, Bundle's a little perturbed that it's not as powerful as he wanted to. But he pockets it, pockets it and uh, proceeds to go downstairs, seeing how, seeing if everyone's up. No. Oh, hey, Bundle. I would be waking up at this moment, like, ooh. Um, God. um, uh, uh, since Bundle got to do his little poisoning thing, uh, can I roll for something? You're not awake yet. Yes, I am. I thought I was fiddling around with stuff in my room. Okay, I... I would like to roll for sewing. Okay. Okay. Roll for that roll. So? That would be a spite of hand. Yeah. Alright. Yeah! Ooh! Alright. Yeah. Uh, you were a little over halfway done with your progress, and now you're closer to just over three quarters done where it just needs uh, some hemming and then it's pretty much all done. That's like about an hour or two hours more worth of work. Neat. Okay. If I would have, I would have woken up, seen a dash again. Is, anyone, is there anymore? Like, oh, what's going on upstairs? And she would have, uh, uh, she would get ready and everything before heading downstairs to meet up with the others. Manya meets up with Fel coming out of her seemingly air-conditioned room. Hey, good morning, Manya. Morning, Fel. Talek wanders down I'm... downstairs and gets mildly irritable, like, no, nah, tired. I'm never going to get. I'm never going to get used to that voice. <laughs> I'm still not used to Talek's voice. Morning, Manya. Then Fel just sits downstairs. Morning, morning, Fell. Morning, Dash. Morning, Talakin. As well as I could, ha being half frozen to death, he says as he just blankly stares at Ranya. It's Ranya. It's a general douche name, damn it. <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh, Ranya looks over to Dash, uh, just smiling loosely. Not sure why he's so irritable. All right, well, we're all downstairs, and Dash will go ahead and, I guess, bring up the what he thinks we should do next. Um, all right, so not sure what you were thinking, Bundle, but I was thinking we, on our way out, we see if we can take the Lothlander boat to track real quick and uh, see about pawning off that Yoan that Yoan stone to Milo. Wait, you want to go back to Trot? I thought we were uh, going uh, straight to uh, straight. My my idea was to b real briefly hit up Trot and then make our way to uh, make our way to Fort Fort Lippy from Trot, but just real quick bit stop in Trot. Okay, I suppose it is kind of on the way. Uh, if we take the trolley, it could get us there faster? Question mark. No, the. Actually, here's here's a question none of us have asked and should probably ask. Hey, uh, Zenya. Yeah, I love. Do you have any maps for sale? Uh, looks back to the artist with the with the brush still in her teeth. You might want to ask her. She she might have she had a fling with a cartographer a couple months back. Dash will look to bundle have any coin on you. Uh, uh, Talek checks himself. I got Bundle is currently in another dimension. Talek checks himself. I got three pieces of gold and nine sil silver. Yeah, you're lagging, Bundle. When it's not my phone, uh, it's Bundle's internet. Yeah. Oh, a lot of things are new. 
things I don't Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, but I wanted to ask, how uh, is uh, Fel's le uh, leg doing any better? Yeah, it's doing better. Much so that her her speed is now back to a 30? Now it's about what? Is it uh, back to 30? Yeah, it's back to 30. Yay! Dash will nod a bundle. Well, let's go talk to the artist lady about a map then. Alright, let's go! Yeah, just don't sneak yeah. up on her. She, she's concentrating. At least I'm going tells to... everyone. I'm well, so tempted to roll stealth up. anyway. <laughs> You. <laughs> yeah, da 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 Dash will just on stuff. No, no, she said not. She said not to sneak up on her because she's concentrating. Yeah. Do it anyway. Hold on. Do I have her? Do I have this artist lady's name written down? Hold on. I don't know. Do you? I believe I do. Senya Polibard. Can... I get my vote, uh, No, I do not. We never did learn her name. Yeah, yeah, hey, uh, ask her name. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me, uh, artist lady. Pardon? Uh, I have a name. I do not know that name. What is your name? Apologies. Yeah. Glares at the at the at the canvas and just says, uh, Miriam. Miriam. Well, pleased to meet you, Miriam. Um, sorry to disturb you, but we were wondering if it would be. Uh, if uh, if you possibly had some maps, uh, some maps for sale. Hmm. Looks to you. Looks at the um, group. It, who else is Who else is over there? I, you know, Fell's over there. Dash is over there. Ronnie is over at the bar, waiting okay. for uh, uh, her breakfast. Bundles there. Okay. Talek, you there? Yeah, I'm sitting here. Are you with us? Are you like? Hanging are you with, with us? Are you hanging with at, map? at the bar? Are you hanging with them at the uh, bothering you know the artist lady? I'll be walking down the stairs by now. Okay. Yeah. It's... You rubber banded. Party. Split party, and uh, yeah, they, she looks at the three of you and like, depends what you got to barter. How's gold sound? Fair enough. You guys don't look like you've been that successful at adventuring. I mean, don't we also have that golden ink? Why not just announce everything that we have? <laughs> because I... You that have to read it. You that. have to be... St exactly. <laughs> this is not stuff Dash really thinks of. Well, so bundle, like, oh, do, do you say that out loud? Yes. Yeah. God damn it. So I was just like, oh, damn. Metallic response, and you all yelled at me for kicking down the door without thinking. Hush you. We still yell at you for that. Don't blame me for playing in character. Um, no. <laughs> Bundle's just like he's angry at you in character. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So, but Bundle just gives him a look and sighs and says, "Well, we also have this." He says as he pulls out the uh, golden ink. Yeah, a little stone pot. And she looks at like, like boy, it's just an inkwell. Like, takes it from me. Like, what the hell? Pops it up. I'm like, ah. Found in the under uh, in the underpass. Looks at you. Looks at Dash. Huh. Yeah, weren't I mean, you blue? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. 
Was what? she there for that? <laughs> yeah, she yeah, she's, been there, she's been there as long as you guys have been there. No. You, you do remember the Drift Globe incident, don't you? That happened literally here. I was concentrating. There was an explosion outside. I'm and really good at concentrating. Long story short, a drift globe <laughs> blew up in her face. Yes, she survived. Eh. Not, not that new. Okay. Um. But yeah, this, this, this will do. This will do. Right. And how much of a map would that get us? Like, would that get us well, the only entire got one, area? So. Oh. I mean, I've got I've got three copies, but I've only got one. Fair enough. Three copies of a singular map. Mm -hmm. And I'm quick going to draw the shape because it does not have the whole of the region on it. It only has most of it. So let me quick get that drawing board out. Oh my god. So... Are doing that? Why don't you pull over to Zenya and ask uh, uh, what for uh, breakfast? One second, one second, Ish. You're all so. <laughs> I I don't think he can tell you that while actively drawing. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to be known that uh, that's what she's waiting for. Uh, for breakfast, give me one second. Uh, oh, come on. Zoom, damn it, zoom. Hmm. All right. One, two. Who's that? I don't know what the hell that is. Set the map to where it once was. I have a curious question now that we have this map. A curious question. Well, I'm first curious. of all, I've got to, I've got to make breakfast. Hold on. Let Those him break breakfast. Bleeding horses. But they're bleeding. I can't hold them. <laughs> Did you post the map somewhere or? No, it, it he marked the. Do you see the big old square on the? Oh, I see. Everything within that is the map she gave us. So we don't we don't got Port Chemtree. We don't got half the Deserto. Uh, uh, what the uh, what the uh, the the <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, my question is: Is there like more room on the map so we can fill it in as we go? No, this is a. Well, if you paste some more pieces of paper to it, sure, but... Okay. Uh, it's so, a, uh, if, pretty yeah, yeah, it, if it, we sew, it, If we it, sew it, on the extensions ourselves, yes. We have 80% yeah. of our map anyway. That's not bad. Not bad for a little bit of golden ink. God wishes to speak. Okay. So, breakfast consists of caramelized nuts. Hmm. Like... Caramel and honey glazed. You got cashews, almonds. No peanuts, though, but everything else. Uh, neat. Good. <laughs> Pistachios. Hey! And, uh, Pistachios you know. are good. And, yeah, and meanwhile, she's like, yeah, yeah, but here, have your map. That's, that's nice. It's very nice. Hmm. It's like licks her lips in anticipation of being able to use this ink. Talek will lean, lean a little bit. Why not use the gold ink to sign your name? I imagine she's going to use that well, for a moment. While Talek is doing this, Dash is going to look this map over and with my Wanderer feature, can I just straight up memorize this entire map and never need it? Uh, 
or would like would that now that we have a map would that give me advantage on check on survival checks from now on? Uh, yeah, we'll give you advantage on map parts of the map you know. Okay. So like that that are, that are on the map, yes. But once you leave this area, or you have to deal with something that, or maybe if there's another trait that causes you to disadvantage, yeah. Okay, so, but uh, so long as we're within the area of the map, I have advantage on trying to figure out where the fuck we have to go. Yeah. Never, uh, so guys, awesome. we must never leave this continent. <laughs> Yay. Thank God for Wander. <laughs> All right, yeah. So she gives you the map. She's happy. Uh, Zenya serves you your serves the nuts, and yeah. Thank you. Looks delicious. Yeah, uh, Dash will say after we're done eating breakfast, we should go hit up the uh, the Luplander brothers to make our way to Tret real quick and try to hit up Milo's abode. Yes, I believe. Uh, I I believe that would be for the best. Probably. Yeah. As they're heading outside, Falco goes check on the gnomes. Oh yeah. <laughs> that happened. There's no proof of any sort of anything that I have done. There's still snow. Yeah. And I was asking Brett if there's still snow on the tent. All right, who's going outside? Just, I think Fell wasn't. Just Fell. Dash will, Dash, Dash will join her. This before, after, or during breakfast? That's up to Fell. Thank you. As I was saying, I was going to check on the gnomes after breakfast. And right. Dash will join her. All right, you guys finish your chock full of nuts Sunday. Uh, you go outside, and there's a hole in the tent from where the icicle pierced it. Oh, icicle? That wasn't an icicle. icicle! That was just a little bit of snow! Hello? Fel goes over to check on them. Yeah, same. No! The, the, the tent is empty. Okay. Oh. okay Alright, let's, let's just, let's, let's just go. Dash will look I, I, on the river for the Luplanders. Yeah, I think that would be for the best. Uh, okay. Oh boy. I don't think you should hold off on the chicken and covers right now. Go. Uh, you don't see them currently on shore yet. Uh, Dash will go, go to a dock and see if there's like anything saying how long out they might be. Uh, there mm -hmm. is a sign in Luplander. I think Rania might be able to know what that is, but... Yeah, I was about to say, isn't Luplander a dialect of half... Yeah, I remember this, and I assume we were made aware of this. Dash will call out, Rania! But you're down by the shore, right? How far is the, sh the tavern away from the shore? Uh, it's about... 80 yards. Do I hear him? He is yelling a little loud. Perception. Let's see. Do you hear him? Crunch. I hear Crunch. Him. Crunch. Hmm. I don't think I've done anything. Uh, to it wa it today. wasn't. I will say it wasn't an angry Rania. It was more of a to get your attention, Rania. To be fair, I don't know if Rania could tell that. <laughs> You know what? I will, yeah. gi I, I will give you that considering Dash's voice. <laughs> uh, how do I roll insight on something I hear? Can I do that? Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. Oh, I know. It doesn't uh, seem so angry, I you think. Hmm. Rania, uh, finishes it up her nuts. Gets off her stool, and out, peeks that, out the door of the tavern, a little warily. Does Dash, does Dash see Rania? Sure. Dash just waves him over. 
She just uh, lifts her hands outside the door, wiggles her fingers. Hi. I need you to read something. Oh. Yeah. She saunters over. What's up? He'll show the he'll gesture to the sign. Okay. Show the sign. Uh, the Luplander sign says the ferry stops by twice a day. Twice a day? Hmm. Okay. Uh, does it say when? It says once before high noon and once before and once before uh, sundown. Ah. Okay. Uh, so we have until 10, 11 o'clock. What time is it now? Can we tell? Which is breakfast, so. It is currently 7 in the morning. Aw. Uh -huh. Alright, well. We got a couple of hours. Yeah, I'll we'll wait here, maybe. What did the, the sun say? Sorry. How, how deep is the river? And how powerful is the current? Uh, the current is. It's mild. It's not surging, but it's like, yeah, it's got a bit of a give to it. Uh, the the oh, river deep, is right? pretty deep towards the center. It's about uh, 30, 40, 30, 40, 30 foot. To kill, to kill time while we wait, Dash is going to just get to a part of the river where fish would be, but where he can still stand. stand and he's just going to start trying to catch fish with his bare hands. Okay, Ooh. roll a survival check. Run your watches this interest. This is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, he'll probably let the fish go because this is literally just to kill time. Yeah, you are you don't watch quite where you're going at first, and you don't realize there's a steep incline on, on the river as soon as you oh. get in, where it's like, like fuck! You okay, Dash? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Run your little clear to fell. You know how to swim, right? Uh, yeah, I do. Why? I'm glad I'm just uh, that so you can play lifeguard for the uh, four dash while I'm uh, off doing something else then? Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dash will get back to sturdy ground and try again. She All waves right. by as she goes, uh, as uh, Rania goes off to go uh, commune with the chickens. Okay, you make it back to shore just fine. Uh, I'll need you to roll me a wisdom check this time. What? Oh. God damn it. This river is dangerous. <laughs> this isn't gonna deter him. He's he's gonna catch a fucking fish with his bare hands eventually. I believe in you. I'll just sit by the river uh, uh, just uh, uh, twiddling around on her violin. Not really doing much. Yeah, that's what Dash is doing to kill time until the Lufflanders get here. Putting a uh, twiddling a violin? No, just the <laughs> fucking fish shenanigans. Nice. Actually, hmm. Rania uh, heads back to the tavern, and uh, he pops his head back and looks around for that uh, for uh, Bundle. Hey, Bundle, Bundle, you around? Bundle's actually looking around, seeing the people who are currently inside the tavern. Alright, uh, he calls in to uh, Bundle and Talek. We have until like 10 or 11, and then the ferry will be around. Huh, that's good. Alright, you feel you're free until then. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Bundle, are you, uh, are you busy right now? Uh, I was actually hoping to know if there's anyone else at the at the three and a half moons other than us. That's what I was asking. Okay, go ahead. Okay, he looked busy. Run, uh, run your wonders off towards the chickens. Yeah, there's uh, well, there's the Goliath. He had the drinking contest with Lasad. There's mm -hmm. the artist Wait, Miriam. Lasad. Lasad. Oh, no. oh, Lasad. Oh yes. There's Miriam. Uh, there's oh, you spelled the right, nice. There's the gnomes, 
and do 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 do. do. There oh. is. <laughs> oh, so the notes were inside. And do, 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 do. don't you wrap me up, bundle? And there's like there's a human couple sitting there in the back, just drinking some yeah. cider and uh, smoking on pipes, reading books. Hmm. Actually, writing. One of them is writing in a book. The other one's just reading. Uh, uh, Back to the fifth whoa, dimension. Whoa. The, God. the sequel. Fucking. Can I talk now? Yep. Yep. Okay. yep. So. With that knowledge, I'm going to have a bundle. Just kind of listen in on people to see what the news is around. Back to the fifth dimension, part three. Around the area, if things. Are Man, the Wi-Fi should really live off, lay off the Big Macs. <laughs> this stream is not brought to you by McDonald's. No. Just trying to pick up any rumors or news. Do, 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 do. Conversations. Okay, uh, perception. Oh, wait, your past perception is 15? Yes, it is. Alright. So. Uh, the gnomes are speaking gnomish, so you have to really roll to get on that. Uh, Miriam is actively just focusing and just like sloshing around this new pot of ink, like ooh. And the the human couple are. Uh, the man is currently reading a book and he's got like a, a feather in his cap and is just scratching his sideburns while he's reading. The the lady on the other hand is wearing a uh, like green tartan and she's just scribbling away madly into what is either a journal or just another type of writing book that she's just scribbling away madly and she's just m you can catch little odd mutterings about like oh, this is a wizard and, and a, a cave bears and, and and then there's gonna be a, 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 a star 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 stars in the sky and there's gonna yeah get it's a published yeah and you, yes. Upon hearing this heavy level of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bundle's gonna try and insight like what is up with this person? Okay. She's writing a DD campaign. Uh let's see. So if things will stop being stupid, come on, roll twenty. No. <laughs> Work with me here. Mm -hmm. Ready, please? There we go. I think. God damn it. But don't mm. Come on, you piece of shit. There we go. I like knitting. Knitting is. Uh. Knitting is fun. My yeah. sister crochets. Awesome. Ooh. Out of character. Okay. Yeah, out of character, my sister crochets. Neat. Okay. Um, you're looking at her and the way look from him to her, kind of like obtuse, like, what is going? And then you kind of catch a rhythm to her speaking, and you get the idea she's a novelist, and she's like spitballing story ideas and maybe writing down a quick like outline for her next tale that she's gonna pen judging by the also constant 
pricking ink marks all over her fingers and stuff. Where, it, And every time she pokes out her tongue, it is literally... Like, there's a big old line of it that's just black. Oh, so God! Constantly licking the pen to keep it going. Am I close enough to see that she's still currently writing? Oh, yeah, you can see that from all across the bar. <laughs> yeah, she's currently right. in the corner by the fireplace, about uh, 25 feet away. All right, I'm going to give in to my cat-like nature and uh, try and sneak a gander at what she's looking at. Oh, what she's writing. I okay, mean. she's 25 feet away. Facing away from me, facing towards you, so. Roll stealth. I guess. Okay. Do it. Do it. Oh, oh that wow. is a nat four. Wow. Or no, nat five. That's a nat five. Wow, yeah. You step off the, the stool. <laughs> she looks up right at you. <laughs> play it off. Uh, play it off. Play cool, play cool. Stop dropping in Hush. Hush. Gotta at <laughs> least say, say what I'm going to do. And seeing that she is actually seeing me and she's dir looking directly at me, I'm just gonna give her a nod and say, so, uh, what's your writing? Licks the pen again. I'm writing a horror story. Really? Boy, how do, do we have a suggestion for her? Cough, cough, underpass, cough, cough. Do tell, says Bundle as he actually saunters over towards her. Why should I be, te why should I be telling a complete stranger about my things? You might just go on off and steal it. I'm not one for stealing anything. <laughs> That's an understatement. As the tobacco's nose gets longer. Uh huh. Can I at least get it out? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not one for stealing anything. At least not from someone I don't, I haven't met, and don't feel like messing with. He says with a with a chuckle. On your hide the pesh. But uh if anything, I could probably give you a few ideas of some nightmarish things. <laughs> uh adventurous. Alright. Well if you must know. I'm Jan. This is Carpenter. Points to the man across the table. That's and, and I had a brilliant storm about a body that comes back to life after a star hits hits this family home that's recently lost the patriarch and he comes back to life and they go on a journey with the former wife across town but he doesn't know her because he's possessed by another being and it's all about this being learning about about the land and the planet and how human beings are since this is not a human soul or spirit that it has invaded her her hubby's presence hmm. what the fuck <laughs> it was good is Jan's last name Lovecraft <laughs> or King you laughed but they both were like famed Well then, seeing that she, this is definitely a, a well thought out story that I'm not sure if he can actually project anything more to it, he says that, well, I'm not really much for that sort of horror, but I can tell you of the horrors I've seen in the underpass. Now those are some real monsters. Hmm. I've heard of things. Hi, Greg, once one sign language, an entire schoolroom of children in a dead silence. Which is awesome. <laughs> yes, but has Hagrid told you of the, of the things that lurk down there? That's kind of the contents of the story he was telling. 
Well, what, is he, well, what has he told you that is down there? Something involving fle something involving flesh eating, soul killing worms. Well, that's just well, that was like one highlight. There's also, like some poor adventuring friends of him got schooled by a by a bunch of flaming skulls. Oh, bundled chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those things? Those are fun. <laughs> he says with an enthusiastic smile. There also was a drider, from what I recommend she, he mentioned. Bundled fidgets. Oh, yeah. Locrishai. Uh, her name's Locrishai. Huh. You speak rather purse. Hmm. Stops. Hmm. Hmm. Looks at the bun. Looks at the rabbit palette and also sitting it towards the bar. Like, huh. Huh. You're the poor bastard who walked out of there, aren't you? Say it again. I I didn't catch all of that. You're the poor bastards who walked out of there, aren't you? Uh, what do you mean? As in, Hygric was here a week ago telling us about this shit. Oh! Oh! Wait, wait really? <laughs> <laughs> he was here? Yeah. <sighs> this is a prime hub of, of activity, in case you haven't noticed. Huh, I'm surprised we haven't run into him, but yeah, uh, we were Plus, the can people swim. who made it. He beat the but, shit out yeah. of a whole swarm of quippers. <laughs> really? <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> he a bundle as, he, as he gives a cat-like smile. He stole like an oar from the Lupland and just started beating, beating them out of the water. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> He's trying not to laugh. <laughs> Got a good like half, got a good like dozen or two out. Did he also tell you of what happened when we got further down and saw a few? Uh, what what are you getting at? The sound beholder. I don't believe you've been given the entire story. Because there were a few, there was one particular thing down there that get, even gave him the shivers. Have you ever heard of a zombie holder? Zombie holder. Zombie holder. I'm sorry. What? Uh. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of zombies and I've heard of beholders. Makes sense there's one of them. Well, perhaps I should tell you exactly what we went through and it, all the things that Heinrich and, uh, what's her name? Uh, Belxis. Belxis. Bel thank you. Belxis all went through. And Bundle actually proceeds to regale them of the tale of exactly point for point what happened from the even parts of the. Of the the tale that he himself would not want to say, but at least wants to put it into the right perspective. Even the, uh, even the touching the... Yeah, even that, and when he got his ass whooped by the drider. Uh -huh. Talek, what are you doing? I'm just sitting there finishing up my food while listening to what Bundle is saying. Okay. Fe <laughs> back. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Feliano, what are you and Dash and Ranya doing? Wait, I what did he say? I don't think we're seeing the chickens. Dash uh, is still I, I in that room. Break from Bundle, trying to go back to you guys. Wait, 
Wait, hold up. I, I had a question. Bundle, did you even tell her about the about the about the statue and uh, and everyone trying to stuff um, the stuff fell's face full of good berries? Oh yeah, he's having a fun time telling this story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Congratulations, yeah. we're going to be infamous. <laughs> Dash is still on that river trying to catch fish, unaware of the quippers. <laughs> Bella's so just there. She's just like you know, like lay, uh, laying near the, uh, in, in near the ri uh, river, just watching Dash catch fish, uh, fish, and just twiddling around on her, on her, uh, on her violin. I hope Dash doesn't get run over by the boat. <laughs> oh no! That thing goes really fast. <laughs> 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 Dash gets uh, uh, Dash is like, okay, there are no landers around. I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna step oh, into, the, uh, into the water. <laughs> no! <laughs> the best part is, he is even hurt. His being just breaks the boat. God Dash. damn it! <laughs> Dash is breaking the boat, Dash! Jesus! I didn't even do anything this time. There's a dash against the ice hole in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ryan, you go off to check the chickens. Yeah. Uh, the chicken coop is boarded up and has a has a message pecked into it saying, saying no outsiders. God damn it! <laughs> you can try knocking. You know what? I don't have a better idea. So, my uh, Ronya goes up to the chicken coop and he knocks. On your way up, you heard light clucking from inside. At the knocking, it goes silent. <laughs> Maybe I should have listened. Alright, uh, Ronya's going to ritual cast speak with animal on himself real quick. And, uh,. He gives the uh, knock again. Uh, it's me, the dust. druid. It's me, the druid. Hmm. This car is, uh, is going really well. <laughs> uh, roll me a deck save. <laughs> oh, boy. Rip. Death by chicken. Eleven. Yeah, as you're intently trying to listen to the door, a piece of wood falls from the top of the hut and, and bonks you. Ow! Hey! She looks up to look at uh, where it came from. There is a chicken wearing... Some sort of wooden armor? <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. I really <laughs> wish Bundle accompanied me now. God damn it. <laughs> we bolting. Everyone's going to chicken, chicken run. Chicken run. It's not his thing to bother the damn chickens. <laughs> Roger stares at this like, Hello. Uh, hello. Um... Uh, I see you all are trying to unionize again. Is everything going all right? You get the I actually roll me insight. <laughs> you can't talk to chickens. Oh! Oh shit! Things are not going well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Given that there's also a trebuchet, what looks like a trebuchet mounted to the top of the chicken coop. What? Hey, oh, wait, what now? <laughs> a trebuchet? What's a trebuchet? For a quick. What? Wait, the like a catapult? Oh, oh. A chicken sized siege weapon. What the fuck? <laughs> How? I hate. I. Uh, I can't imagine what they're actually going to fire off of that thing. Um, 
Ronnie has uh, looked up to this thanks. Hmm. Who in the part? She uh, thinks maybe I should get some backup. She thinks at the party. Thinks about uh, Dash again, who broke a chicken's neck. Thinks about Fell, who probably would be completely bewildered by the situation. I would. She Tower would. Stares blankly at the sky. Thinks about Bundle, who looked a little busy at the time. I think I'm on my own. Wow, don't even think about the rabbit. I uh, know, I do think about you. I think about you staring blankly into the sky. I can't imagine what would be helpful in this situation. As an explosion goes off in the di in distance. Uh, and the drift globe has exploded. Hello, I was a farmer. I don't huh? know how you, you would interact with chickens. You were, uh, you're basically a slave master to the chickens. So... Uh, He's not wrong. <laughs> so uh, I gotta figure out some way of doing this. Yeah. A second okay. chicken appears in what looks like camouflage, like they <laughs> like they have pasted bits of tree and branch and like fir trees to them. So it... do I see this chicken? There's like pine tar underneath its eyes, like football. Hold, hold oh my god, it's like a chicken. I, I, Lenny just marvels at their ingenuity. Like, okay, these are pretty smart chickens. Hmm. This what is the your, only thing I can check? This is the only thing I can think of. That's a 19. Uh, you remember there was an outhouse next to, uh, just outside the chicken coop. You look behind the chicken coop, and it's burned to the ground. Oh, so the outhouse, oh, they burned down the outhouse? <laughs> I wonder okay. if, uh, Venya oh. knows anything about this. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, uh, when you raise up her hand, uh, to hail one of the chickens, like, I come in peace. Please send out a representative so we may converse. This the wooden chicken, well. like, Spider-Man walks down the side of the chicken coop and plucks himself <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> I'm sad I didn't come by here sooner. Um, hello? Um, uh, yeah, she, she does a, um, Courteous bow to uh, the chicken. Is this the same? Is ow ow? Okay. Uh, is this the same chicken that uh, was their leader last time, or is this another chicken? This is the second in command. Ah, uh, second in command. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it seems you guys have made a lot of. Uh, Progress since the last time I came here. I take it that you have decided that uh, that is better uh, that uh, you wish to not be a part of human society anymore. Then <laughs> no shit, Rania. <laughs> there, yeah. Hmm, uh, your concern is still about I ritual casted uh, speak with animal boys, so there sh so I should be able to understand them. Uh, uh, so okay, just making sure you know. Uh, so is this still uh about the eggs, or are you just um kind of? <laughs> Fed up with uh, the the sentient race in general. Roll an is, this become, is this gonna become George Orwell's animal form? It's mm. sounding like it. I should still have <laughs> guidance on me. That's a twelve and roll a quick D four. Okay, that's a fifteen. Yeah, you get the I idea can... from the ensuing ensuing rambling 
mishmash of ideas thrown at you that, yeah, the chickens are kind of rebelling against sentient humanoid society in general. Why do you blink? Hmm. He looks uh, around the chickens. He looks around at their enclosure. Bites her bottom lip for a moment, thinking. Uh, the, uh, she holds up a finger, and uh, it's like, um, I may have to have a talk with Zenya about this, but I think I could possibly find you a new home if you're interested. If this is like George Orwell's The Animal Farm, they ain't moving. <laughs> I got a better solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he looked over at the chicken. Oh, persuasion. We, we come back here in three weeks. They made a, uh, they've made a mill. <laughs> Ronnie taps their fingers together. Fingers yourself explode. <laughs> what? <laughs> persuasion with a twelve and what? Thirteen. What do they have to roll against me? Yeah, they blink once and don't move. Run your nods. If... Uh, now, hear me out. Uh, you don't have to accept right away. But I would like to present you with the option if uh, you'd be alright with that. Yeah, I'm not going to force you to move. I actually can't, considering... Good. Both not my property. You are. Uh, uh, I am not representing you in any way, and I'm kind of just a neutral party trying to make sure that you know, wars don't happen. But wars uh, <laughs> uh, if I can uh, manage something, uh, would you bring along with them? Uh, uh, would you or another representative be willing to come with me to examine a place where you could possibly stay in the future away from the human settlement? I didn't want to linger. Oh, persuasion disadvantage. Oh, God. Uh, Here we go. Run you, you tap their fingers together. Explode. That's a 10 and a, that's a 12. Uh, uh, the chicken relates to you. Get out while you still can. I think the chickens are a lost cause. Soon, uh, soon, Fell and Bundle will have to act as emissaries for the, uh, for the veiled keep and keep with the new chicken <laughs> chicken comrade. I'm concerned that the three moons isn't gonna be here, or at least not under Zenya's control next time we come by. Whatever. Uh, let me throw up her hands. All right, nothing else I can do here. She walks away and heads back to the tavern. Sorry. Okay, the chickens are going to mount war against three half moons while you guys are away. And uh, let's just go. Uh, let's. Uh, dash roll survival check since you're still trying. Wait. Uh. There is fishing tackle on the dock. <laughs> yeah, but Dash is just being stubborn. Makes sense. Okay, but roll Dash, an athletics fish. followed by a survival. Oh my god. Ooh. Well, one of those was good. Alright. So you you get caught up a little bit in the current, like you get washed about a quarter of a mile downstream, uh, which is actually back towards Sommerfeld. But you will come away with three big old bass. Yeah. Woo. Just one like, the, oh, one mm -hmm. in each hand and one in your jaws. And do, 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 do. 
Bundle, you finish your story time? Well, now that he's done... Yeah, I'm, I'm done talking. I'm done telling the story by the time all of that was happening outside. Hello? Yar. Uh, okay. Yar. Sorry, I was reading some email. Okay. Uh... So yeah, she she takes your story ideas and kind of flips back like five pages ahead and just writes down a couple bullet points of like things she likes, like like the cat man being beat up by a uh, by his <laughs> rider, but being left to live. Like that's a good story, man. It's a good story. Good story boy. And And she's like, all right, uh, you're okay. You're okay. Just, uh, don't be spilling any of this stuff I just told you, anyone. Or else I'll hunt you down and I'll sue the heck out of you. Dave? I mean, See you in court. Okay. <laughs> How does the legal system in D&D? However Indeed. I want it to. Indeed. Uh, Dash will go ahead and leave the fish with Zinnia and just say, hey, here you go. Because why not? Hey, you almost masticated the hell out of that third one. Good God. Yeah, felt like trying to catch it with my bare hands. This one's half dissolved. What the hell? Bare teeth. <laughs> bare hands, not bare teeth. No. <laughs> well, the one you had in your mouth. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I so said you got one in each yeah. hand and one in your mouth. Oh, right. Yeah, that that that's just... I caught that one with my mouth. Who is this? <laughs> not, not sure if you've noticed, but acid is kind of part of my thing. It was awesome to watch, though. Fel would have followed back, uh, back by now, since she was just laying on the shore, uh, laying near the shore. Did Talek get seconds? Because he didn't move from that place, from what I remember. No, I'm just, well, I'm just pa being, sitting here being patient. Hmm. Okay. It's like uh, apparently he was hungry. He just keeps eating. All right. So about half an hour after Dash returns with the fish. You do hear the Luplander bell ring, ding, ding, and it's like, oh, cool. ah, they're here. Now I can finally give them their damn fabrics, crimey. And, she, and that, that's our cue as well. Yeah. And she's like, oh, God, I got some anti-chicken spray from them, too. Those Luplanders know how to control their animals better, crimey. <laughs> burn, burn, down, burn down my goddamn outhouse. Now I got a shit okay. in the woods like a goddamn bear. <laughs> I'm just not going to ask. Yeah, I'd be oh. glad you don't have to take care of animals. You big barbarous. Or you little young. Nothing I can do about it. What? You, you try to talk to them? Why? Try to negotiate peace with them. They're Unfortunately, something happened. I mean, I, I, think, I think we're prepared for war, but eh, I got this. Go ahead. I wash my hands of the situation. Can't do anything about it now. I, okay, you're you're fine. It's just it's my problem. I'll deal with it. Mm. I will teach them the the life of the mind. Damn. Have fun with that. Either way, doesn't matter to me. And she you comes out carrying some carrying some blankets and some uh some spools of yarn for the like Yo Lops! Hey, dear. Hey, good materials! Hey, hey Loplanders. Yep. Hey Paul, hi Bart. Yep, Bart and Paul wave their big burly hairy hands like hey. You just get to sit hey. and like hey, hey, you get the two? So, well, because we're taking their boat to try, remember? 
Yeah, right. they, they have increased the toll to a gold per person. <laughs> oh, boy. For green, reasons. Green business new. That's great. Well, they did have their boats destroyed the last couple of times. Looks to yep. Josh. We should probably... <laughs> what? Bird look, Dad. Bird look. <laughs> anyway, I think, I think should we should probably pay Zenya before we leave as well, huh? Ah, uh, yes. Looks to bundle. Uh, right, and you're on the goddamn bank. He says as he pulls out some gold. <laughs> you could spread it among us if you wish. He looks to Dash, looks to Rania, looks to Talik. I don't trust any of you. <laughs> Fel's just, just like, is, wow, okay. It. <laughs> it would gather shots. And Fel's just like, wow, okay, then, all right. But then he looks at Fel, you, I trust. Okay, Rania, there she get. I say on the count of three, we jump, bundle, and split the gold amongst us. No. Have fun with that. You can go for it, Bunny. I ain't just gonna watch. But so that would be all right. Till it back, uh, seven gold, five silver. Oh, that's not too bad. Says Bumble as he pulls out gold from his own pocket and just hands it to him rather than going for the gold that's in the bag. Seven. That was gold, to that was to Zenya, right? Yeah. Yeah. Your your bill was seven gold, five silver. Okay. I get the feeling the acid was part of that bill. And yes. don't forget the ice room, too. Yeah. Uh, that... No one has any proof that I've done that. And don't forget the That's nose. That's right, he doesn't. Oh, boy, that'll be fun to come back to. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's like, all right, all right, get out of here. You got you got things to do, I bet. Now, now just, just don't go breaking any more boats. Probably a moot point. Dash uh... steps on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now Dash steps on the boat, falls all the way through. God damn it! <laughs> Roll a deck set. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kippers! Alright, so, so they just asked for gold apiece from you for passage. Unless Bundle well, covers Dash, he'll give them the, his last gold piece. Well, we'll give her. We'll give them one of her gold pieces. I'm down to two gold pieces now. I am down to three silver pieces. I am down to eight gold pieces and six silver. Oh. Wait, what now? I thought I that bundle it. was paying for that. I was. I was trying to. <laughs> Sorry. You don't oh, what the hell? Speak, man? No, oh. it's, a, it's a, every time I try to talk, McDonald's says no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard you clearly were going to pay for that. Then suddenly everyone was right. going like, "Okay, I'm I'm now down." Right, to so, so is bundle pay? Over. Is bundle paying? I don't know. Yes. Okay. I'm, okay. I've been trying to pay for the longest. <laughs> All right, five gold from your bundle. All right, five gold. All right, you guys hop aboard, and uh, the the little uh little Lupland boat that could just chugs on ahead to Trut, and you get there in about half an hour. And once you dock and trut, they uh, put down the gangplank. Uh, say, hey, we're good day and treat. All right, so. Thank you. Thank you, Laplanders. Yep, they dropped Thanks. you off on the north end of trut. So just on the north Always end. Always right. thank the bus driver. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right, Always. so. And we right when it. you guys get off there, we're going to take a pause for break. Anyway, welcome back to the Dynamics of Good and Evil. Post break, they have just re arrived in Trut and they're about to do fluff business. Yeah. At least someone is, I don't know. Wait, we also have to visit. What was this name? What was this name? What was this name? Dash is yeah, just vibrating impatiently. Dalek <laughs> okay. yeah, will start heading, down, heading towards Milo's. Hello. Why? Biggest one. He doesn't like you, Bundle. He doesn't like Rania. Billy Arlen and Dash again, he's okay with. He, he's tolerating me. Guys, don't we have to. Like any of us. But go ahead. Sorry. Don't we also Sorry. have to. 
Do we also have to visit uh, uh, visit that guy uh, that guy that Dirk uh, that Dirk told us to visit? Oh shit! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just remembered it. <laughs> Notes. I Be no, uh, no. I mean, like, I had the note. Uh, I had it wrote written down. I just couldn't remember his name. It's Fane, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I have it written down, but I don't know if, if I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> yeah. We will get to I that, but Talik is heading towards Milo's. And. Yeah. Uh, dash will tap bundle. Hey, uh, bundle, how much coin do you have? Bundle will look into his pack. Eh, well, in my pocket's like 42 gold, but yeah. in here. I wanted to pick. He... Go ahead. Uh, give me a second. Because <laughs> yeah. we have a lot. <laughs> we have a lot of coin. But it's in silver and gold. Uh, Dasher just say he wants to try to pick up some equipment to replace what he lost. So, well, what do you need to get? I can probably give you a spending spending limit. I was gonna see about picking up a couple of hand axes, a couple of javelins, and maybe a long sword. Oh shoot! Bundle looks that. surprised. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? Weren't you griping like two weeks ago about the fact that you would never part with your with your great sword as your as your best weapon? I'm not. I'm in case I need to one hand stuff. A long sword would be yeah, a good idea to have as a backup. It, I'm still gonna use my great sword when I can. It feels like it doesn't. It shouldn't fit you. I mean, no offense. You you are rather huge. And imposing. <laughs> so, a big imposing weapon, it, it, it's kind of good fits. Still, at the very least, I need to pick up a couple of hand axes and javelins. Yeah, also, the... also, Brett, I'm going to go ahead and combine all of this into silver Do and it. gold in the one thing, because keeping up with several bags is annoying. <laughs> but oh, I'm keep, sorry. Keep, keep, keep going. Uh, well, if uh, uh, if it's um, if everyone's doing their own thing, I was going to see about uh, about trying to find the uh, the fellow that uh, that Dirk told us to, uh, to find before. I'm pretty sure it's Fian. I just Fian. Can... Fian. That's the uh, that's the name. Can't find his name in my notes. It's right under Gerva for me. All right. So, Rania, you get ten better berries, six flower petal berries, and four mystery berries. <laughs> While Talek storms on ahead, away from the group. We've separated the party! Two Milos. Hooray! No, Talek, as he walks towards Milos, he takes a look at his place, seeing if there's anything different. I mean, there's a single sunflower in the garden. Oh. Has that always been there? No. Oh, boy. Talek walks up the door and begins to knock. <coughs> knock, knock. On the third knock, he opens the door like, Uh, oh, hey. Uh, hey. can I help you? Haven't seen you around for a while. Thought you got killed. Uh, oh, thanks. That's a nice thing to hear from someone that you haven't seen for a while. Adventurers have a high turnaround in this area. <laughs> yeah, a lot of uh, bad things will happen. But good news! <coughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry. I have the Yoin Stone that you wanted. Hello? Okay. Um, he blinks. He's like, "Really?" Yeah. Talek would pick up, would hold up the case, and open up the lid, showing him the stone. Oh. Whoa! I didn't think you'd find it that quickly. Dang. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, Lucky rabbit's you, foot. You, you have impressed me, little one. Dude, ah. we literally have it the whole time, basically. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for the others, we would never be able to find this. My halfling friend, uh, oh, oh. Dang it, Tabaxi, the Dragonborn, and the Tiefling, without their help, we wouldn't have been able to find this. Well, I, I appreciate it. Um, you know what? I hey, come on in real quick. All right. He he fiddles around on a on a couple of shelves and like, all right. Uh, you want uh, what do you feel is more necessary in your journeys? Healing or uh, yeah, health or uh, strength? Huh. Well, I do want to have that one pearl that gives you yeah, one magical, free magical use. Oh, you want the pearl? Oh, you sold mm. it off, didn't you? I didn't say that. You can't prove that. <laughs> he did, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> do I have to roll in sight? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. I've got, to, I've got to look this up real quick. Um, he <laughs> still actually does have the po have the pearl. Uh, roll a persuasion check real quick, or a charisma uh, oh. or whatever. Uh, I'm going to go with the charisma. Ooh. Oh, ouch! She's going with persuasion. Yeah. He be -be -de -be -de -de. should have waited for the bard. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky rabbit's not going to say on this one. Um. All right. For the pearl, I remember giving you a set of three or four items to look for. If you give me one yeah. more item, I will give you the pearl. Or hmm. I can give you the pearl for fifty or sixty gold. Ooh, I guess I have to skip the pearl then until I can find the other two items then. Sorry, man. I'm just. Uh, I really appreciate it, but um. Well, I'm, simple I'm, thing. I need to know. So I need some information, and hopefully, you might know a few miracles. Well, spells I gave. I want to call them in these land. Mm-hmm. I need. Need a spell that which will allow me to cast a hearing healing aura to all my teammates. Teammates that which I can only use once per battle. So what you want like a spell scroll? Or something that which will allow me to use it can without the scroll being used up in a one time use only. You're asking for something that's in excess of like ten thousand gold, dude. Ow. Yeah, that's that's like semi permanent scrolls are really hard to come by and you really have had to been ace of your class at Mage College. It it it's insane what those people do, man. Oh god. Yeah, they're a bit stuck uh, I up. Wish, I wish uh, I'm, I'm flattered you think I have some, but <laughs> I'm in the backwoods. Oh. Uh, it's always the underdogs that always have been tough, but they find out to be on top anyway. Hmm. I like the way you think. But alas, I. Yeah, a semi permanent scroll, you'd be better off in Redport, and they will still charge you those pretty pennies for that, man. I, I'm sorry I can't help you, but. Uh, as thanks for the, uh, for the, uh... Yeah, yeah I was about to say, Milo seems different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but, um, I'm, I'm willing to give you, uh, would you, I was willing to give you, like, a, a, a potion of either, uh, strength or healing in, in thanks, and then next item I will give you the pearl. Um, the potions on the uh, strength, strength will they increase the strength permanently or just? He actually pulls out his book. Like, oh, all right, wait, here's uh, what I, I know about character. this. When it, yeah, what? 
I look here at this. Oh no, he's outright telling um, you what, to... what it does. Oh. Like, oh no, when when you drink this potion, your strength score will change for an hour. Like uh, oh. the, the type of giant it's derived <laughs> from uh, determines what how much it increases by. Uh, it doesn't have any effect if your strength is already equal or greater to than the score, and it's it's the the potion he produces is a transparent liquid, with which has a a a good three inch long fingernail floating in it. Oh God! And Talix used to drop bite from healing that, <laughs> but. It does give you a nice boost to strength for an hour. Well, um, there's one other thing that I'm willing to trade this uh, stone for. A ring. Um, Just I'm, any ring. I'm kind of off on you. The potions are nothing, dude. Ah. Uh, like, I, I, I don't really have any rings besides the ones that my mother gave me when I graduated college, but Ooh, those, those are kind of mine. Sorry, but they're oh. they're mine. All right, then, but all right, uh, you know, I think I would take the strength potion. All right, you. I believe now... Dashi can, can use good can have good use of it. All right, you now have a potion of hill giant strength. Fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull up this information on the compendium. Person of giant strength. Huzzah! I ween! You ween! Oh, You're on. the wiener! Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. Do it. Do exactly that. Alright, so here's the description. Potion and score is 21. It just straight up turns your score to 21? For an hour. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that, actually, you're, like... you're, going to really, you're going to really enjoy that. Hold on. I just... Sorry. Go ahead. I'm just imagining the tiny... Wait... Uh, tapling just uh, just drinking that potion. <laughs> Suddenly he becomes Terry Crews! <laughs> God. All to our maximum power! This potion might come in very handy if we run into that stone giant. Good night. Good night, person. Oh, Good that night. was my nephew. Good night, Talix's nephew. Oh, All right. Okay. So what's you, the name of the potion? Uh. Even better. Imagine if Rodney drinks the potion. Imagine if Bundle drank that potion. <laughs> oh God! Actually, yeah. <laughs> Basically, Bundle is the weakest. I could pick this in that bowl. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up. Hold up. What the? Hold right up. through a target. <laughs> hold up! But uh, uh, bundle. What's your strength score? My strength score is a nine. <laughs> I I have an eight. <laughs> oh, 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 so oh, so yeah. Fell would be the funniest to give the potion. To. <laughs> well, they're both the same. They're both roughly the same score. Yeah, okay, but the uh, I but it, it, I uh made it and posted on my uh, character sheet. I I it's sir. Just, it's just funnier because Fell's tinier. And so that's the business we had with Milo. Yep, and, and you guys were too busy chatting about okay how much gold we have. I'm waiting. They're like, oh yeah, we're Talico. And, and I'm there's just like, one more question, Milo. Yep. If you have nothing to answer. Do you know if there's a samurai master within these land? I'm gonna roll for season if he knows what a samurai is. Yep. Oh. Samurai I it. No, I pulled a Monty. No. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Panic. Ah. Science, you. I am vexed. My scarf is going up. The dice in his mouth. <laughs> I caught it. Yeah. Schmidt. Oh. <laughs> and you lost it. Oh boy, does he know? 
Okay, just, so he just blinks, looks side to side, like, closes the door, like, Okay, you're gonna want to go to Red... You're gonna want to stop on a town outside of Redport. Huh. Okay, uh, Talik would proceed to pull out a piece of paper. Oh, wait, that's right, I don't have parchment. Ah! We do have a map that you can tell us to mark. Yeah, you're gonna want to... Uh, head to a uh, little town just you want to head to a town just to the southeast of Redport. Canterbury. Southeast. Huh. Ooh, that's a long walk. I mean, we're going to be heading to Redport anyway, so it's on the way. Mm. Still, Still too terrible. Uh, do you know this uh, character's name? You're gonna ask for Shanghai. Be warned, he's uh, kind of intimidating. Oh boy, if he's just like how the drill masters were back at the academy for paladins, uh, I might be in for one hell of a journey. Pat you on the, on the shoulder. Good luck. Okay, now let me get this straight. The last two items you want is a star ring and a flying carpet, correct? That would be excellent. I'll be sure to get you the flying, flying carpet since we're heading to Redport, but the ring might take some time. Yeah, it's okay, dude. I, I really because, appreciate it. To be honest with you, we found that Lone Stone in one of the locked uh, chests that we had from our first mission. Yeah, my yeah. luck goes. <laughs> yeah. All right, one more thing, Milo. I've been thinking about that. This is the uh, third one more thing you've asked of me. This is the last one you get. Oh damn! You hear some. You hear some clinking from in the back room. Like oh, shit. Scorn is back there, isn't he? Do you say it out loud? Yes. Gonna roll something. <laughs> oh, Stone face, like. No. I'm gonna roll insight to see if he's telling me the truth. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. He seems he, legit. He seems, he seems legit. Okay, it's so Talik will close his eyes and give him a smile. Okay, then. Well, see you next time when I have the last two items. Tyler walks till it's the door. Peace. As you close the door, you hear it clink lock behind you. It's like, oh, shit, son of a bitch. And <laughs> yeah. So we're going <laughs> to transfer over to Rania, who wanted to. Okay, roll me another account check for that next batch of 20 berries. <laughs> I want to see how this works. Okay. Show me the tuna. Wait, no, it's not the line. Mm. Okay, so the heck does that mean? Uh, wait a bit. All right. All right, so Ryan, you get nine better berries and eleven mystery berries. Ooh. They look exactly the same as the last batch of mystery berries you made. I'm going to have to t try one of those mystery berries. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> um, Dash and Bundle, you guys are still counting money like the mob. And. Phil's just like just just to help make this quick. Dash just wants to see how much two javelins, two hand axes, and a long sword cost. Two javelins, two hand axes, and a long sword. Yes. All right. Two javelins, two hands. That would be. 
Seven gold and... Where's my needle? Uh, they will bundle that all together for you for 25 gold and 4 silver. Dash. Is Dash approved to spend that much bundle? 20 gold and 34 silver? 25 gold and 4 silver. Oh, 25 gold and 4 silver. Okay. Uh, bundle's like, well, hmm. You're gonna need more than just weapons, you know. You can't just be the walking armory. So, here. He says as he hands him 50 gold. Try and get yourself something else, like, I don't know, some... Pants? Look, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, your junk is completely <laughs> exposed. <laughs> well, he looks at Beliana. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Uh, what else do you need me to get? He says as he scratches the top of his head. One... He, he looks down at your wardrobe, he's like, I want to say pants, but I get the feeling that if, if I push this any further, you're just going to start breathing acid on me. <laughs> but, <laughs> Can we at least wait till we're at port before we get on the topic of a wardrobe change? All right, fine, but I'm holding fine. you to that. Fine, fine. But can you at least get us some, I don't know... Uh, maybe find yourself some knickknacks. Treat yourself. He says he gi gives them fifty gold. Treat yourself. Dash has literally no idea how to do that. Are, do, are you just staring blankly at me? <laughs> yes, actually. Where's it? Why he tilt to the left? Uh Dash, you you do know what I mean, don't you? Yes. Roll the section. Looking Oh, he's telling the truth. <laughs> like we can't even roll it. <laughs> like, that's a nice morning. Like, the, the me uh, care uh, player me is like, you fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> but bundles just like, oh, okay, well, uh, here, here's fifty gold. Whatever. You know, don't don't spend it all in one place, and don't bring trouble with you when you come back. Deal. Just Deal. Have fun. I can picture a gnome that's on his shoulders beating him on the head saying, You owe me money! You owe me mo money! You owe me money! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm not wanting that! So, it smells just smells like, just have fun! We, uh, uh, uh folks, Abundle, we actually have, uh, have to go find Fee, uh, Fian for, uh, uh Fian, actually. Yeah, it makes sense. We are in front, and he typically hangs around here. Yes. Alright, so... Dash is gonna go and pick up the gear he wants to pick up and then try to figure out how to have fun by spending money. Because he's oh, literally I never done that. Have, uh... <laughs> Why did that, that song just come into my Because it's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so I imagine I'm able to pick up all that gear no problem. Uh, yeah, 25 gold, 4 silver will get you the, uh, longsword, 2 javelins, 2 hand axes. And Talik, you're also needing the blacksmith, what are you looking for? Uh, to pick up that one gauntlet of the, uh, oh, yeah. god tame, uh, uh, Ronin? Yeah. Hopefully with this other gauntlet I have, I, if I put it on, I might be able to figure out how to trigger this gauntlet's ability. Uh, I think we're spending about an hour and a half, two hours on trot. Yeah. Maybe three, I don't know. Uh, I, I, think the, I think the Milo thing I'd, only took 10 15 minutes. I'd cap it at two, yeah. Uh, short rest, yeah. Well, we could tell we take the short rest on the boat as we travel to Edport. 
Well, oh. we're not taking a boat to Redport. But not. We no. are walking. Ooh. That's gonna be one hell of a walk. It's kind of that diplomatic thing. Remember, the four-hour short rests are from Bundles game. Oh yeah, I've got to move the map. Eh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you get thirty good bear. You get thirty better berries, and uh, meanwhile, Talik, uh, you're gonna get your gauntlet. Yep, and if I'm lucky enough, I might be able to bump it to dash again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's just finishing up his business as you walk in the door. Yeah. All right. While all of this is going down, what do I roll, roll to see if Dash can figure out how to have fun just by spending money? What if he rolls a that one? Holy shit! That what? will be amazing. If he bumps into Talik, he goes fast. Talik. No, I, I am. I am leaving this to luck. <laughs> Let's do it. So, so as soon as you're able to tell me, Brett. Uh, tell you what. What do I roll to see if Dash can figure out what to do with the gold to try and, like, have fun? Oh. Uh, DM confusion hour. Wisdom? Come on, that one. Damn it. Close. <laughs> well, it's good to be so happy this fell oh shivers. God, no more better berries. Uh, fell, uh, fell, uh, fell suddenly. Uh, fell's hair suddenly stand. Uh, suddenly stands up like I felt a disturbance. <laughs> 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 All right. So you stare at the gold in your hand like, ah, oh, fun, 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 fun. Girls just want to have fun. Uh, you know that the group has had fun eating food. And I don't know. Maybe Milo has some cheap doohickeys. I don't know. Ooh, actually, thinking of Milo, that does bring up a good point. Dash is gonna go hit Milo up once uh, he gets the chance. Oh, All it's right. the bundle. Do you think? Uh, do you think it, uh, uh, it was really a good idea? Dash, uh, Dash, go treat himself alone. Bundle just kind of shrugs. What kind of trouble could he get here in here? The most he'd ever do is just, I don't know, put, burrow a hole in the sidewalk and he's walking down. Suddenly there's an explosion in the distance. <laughs> Suddenly the gilded kettle melts. <laughs> <laughs> the entire gilded kettle, like... <laughs> why do I... Why do I bring you guys anywhere? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the sad part about... Sad part about Radia earlier saying Dash needed a lifeguard. He wasn't wrong. A lifeguard to guard everyone else's life. <laughs> Ranya looks around. Jesus. What? What? I was right again. I knew it. <laughs> As he just noms into a giant berry. Yeah, after Bundle and Feliana, Dash is going to go. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. Speak up, boy. Speak up. Okay. Yeah, yeah you, should, you, should, you should be talking, Rania. This, uh, this sounds pretty great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everyone else. Your mic cut out after everyone else. Everyone else is doing their stuff. My stuff is on the side. Continue on with your okay. stuff. Uh... So, Dash, what are you going to try to do for fun? <laughs> well, before that, Dash is going to go hit up Milo and see if he can if he can put enchantments on stuff. Okay. Got to roll something. Uh, uh, which oh. hopefully doesn't take it. Okay, you make it right at Milo's shack. Knock, knock, knock. All right. Roll a strength check just for poops and giggles. Okay. Um, you knock on the door, and it rattles a little bit, and he's like, 
Oh God, what? It's like, no, stay. <laughs> and he opens the door a crack like the little like New York apartment chain. He's like, huh? He's like, oh, hey, Draken Bjorn. Um, hey, uh, Dash. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I had a curious question for you because I'm assuming you know we're in town right now. Uh, looks at you. Looks at the town. Yeah. I wanted to see. Are you able to enchant weaponry? Uh, yeah. depends on the enchantment and for a price. How would I go about describing the plus one enchantment? <laughs> you just want a magic weapon? Basically, I'm wanting to see if how how quickly he can make a great sword or great sword plus one. Ugh, that would. And how much? How much would that cost? You know, I probably have all the materials for that right now, but your buddy probably wouldn't like me going about it. Okay, why? Uh, because it would kind of one of the key ingredients for like making one of those weapons would be a pearl of power. And your buddy oh. really wants that. So if you can find me another pearl of power, I could get about it easily. Otherwise, it would be a lot of money and a lot of materials. Ah, damn. And we're not in town for very long, either, so... Alright, uh... Thanks anyway, then. And he's just gonna... Offer a nod, head off, and I guess go get a meat, go get a nice meal. A gourmet Gary's? Sure. What could possibly go, uh, go wrong with feeding himself? The <laughs> love letters. Yeah, yeah, should we say roll that. to see if anything goes wrong? I'm okay Whoa. with this. The love, no, uh, the love letters. Everything uh, goes the fine. The love okay. letters just, uh, ju uh, just. <laughs> uh, how, how, how much am I spending for just a, a nice meal? Well, first, I roll what the nice meal is. Ooh. Fair enough. <sighs> All right. Nice. Uh, Gourmet Gary's current uh, specialty is chicken curry with rice. Oh, that sounds spicy. Yum. Let's go for it. Yeah. That I've tried that before. It is goddamn delicious. <laughs> Uh, chicken curry is different depending upon who is making it. Uh, there's uh, it has a different flavor depending upon whether or not it's like Indian, um, uh, like there's like mulberry, there's like mulberry sauce on the side that you can dip the mm -hmm. the naan bread in. Oh yeah, yeah that, that, that that Dash, will like have, Dash will have some of that. Save yeah. himself a ration. Yeah, it it would be just uh, four silver for a meal. Alrighty, yeah, he, he pays for it. He's treating uh. himself. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> one, <laughs> one massive. For context, how big is it? Is one massive berry? <laughs> Please tell me that's a bomb. <laughs> It's now red and green. Oh, you just made a literal bomb. <laughs> it's a <What>? yeah. <laughs> it's a berry bomb. Mm. I swear she, to God, if it was a cherry, she puts it into her pack gingerly. How big? Hold up. Size of? Oh my God. Oh. I really want that to be a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That is a fucking massive berry! Hi. Like, avocados are already big! Like, what the fuck? It's like yeah. the size of a- That's like the size of a cantaloupe. Yeah, it's not yeah, a little bigger. Seriously. I kind of wish I- uh, I kind of wish I got myself plant growth today so I can grow some of these. Oh, oh well. The best laid plans of mice and men. Oh well. Yep. Future. That's right, there are new guards outside. Right. A rat are they just watching me just like... Well, like, literal cast weird-ass berries, like, right in front of them? 
There's like, a, there's like there's like a helmet with a beard staring at you, just like this massive bushy beard is coming out of this helmet. It's like, uh, should should we be doing anything about that? <laughs> and uh, the other guy's like, nah, it's not worth messing with. He's, he's just he's just doing his his his, his guard. He's a, he's a gardener. Come on, just, 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 just watch, watch the river. Yeah. <laughs> running, uh, the these guards. Hmm? Manu looks over the guards, waves, la uh, friendly, uh, friendly, friendly. That's not a word. Stuff, you have violated the law. <laughs> I, I recognize you. What? <laughs> I did nothing today. Today. You broke the law. No one shall create. Massive berries. I, I, I don't. Is that a log at that? No. no. Let me be honest. There is, there is no. As long as you're not made of the uh, marijuana. I think it's. Marijuana. I think it's. Bu I think it's bundle and fell on this turn now. Right? All right, bundle and fell. What are you guys doing in this off time? Uh, I recommended that we should try to go find uh, Fian. Don't know what Bundle wants to do. I just. I agreed. Yeah. So right. we can try to go. Home. You remember where you last saw him? Last time we saw him, was at the he was at, or Gourmet Gary's. It was at Gourmet Gary's. The Golden Kettles. Every, it was at the, the Golden, Golden Kettles. Kettles. Yeah, Golden Kettles. Okay, where was his favorite spot before that? Before that, he that was... I don't know. Sitting outside. <laughs> bath house, bath house. The bath house, yes. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, he was sitting out in the chair. I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone's in a hurry. I like that. No, no, I was just trying to make a metagaming pigeon joke. Right. Metagaming pigeon? <laughs> Shoot it! Metagaming pigeon. Metagaming pigeon. <laughs> I'll destroy <laughs> all the wildlife that appears. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... Where are you guys heading? I guess to the bathhouse, if it, since that's where his hangout right, is. You head to the yeah. bathhouse, and there is an... There is an orange human child sitting there, dangling the little legs off the chair where he usually sits. Oh. Oh, uh, oh no! Please tell me. Oh god, please let that not be the same kid. I hope not. But oh, Hello. Hello. Just... Uh, Hello. Hi. There. Tell they are suddenly a love lander. Yeah, that she slipped into the black lodge for a second. <laughs> but um Bundle's just gonna look left, look right, not see a fee in and say, uh okay. This is you no know, but uh hey little guy, have you seen a rather oldish looking elf around here? He gone. What do you mean he's gone? What do you mean he's gone? He went on a trip. A trip. Do you know to where he went on a trip? He said school. Oh. Cool. School. Oh. Wait, the school. There's only. I only know Sommerfeld. I think that's the only school in a. Oh, man. <sighs> we, we'd have to stop by Sommerfeld to see him now. Wait, how do you know him? He says. Bundle says he looks at the kid. He said he was going to school. That doesn't answer my. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, I guess we gotta head to Somerville to get to take care of this. Mm, I, guess, I believe so. Good thing we have like six months to complete this. I suppose. It's better than two days. <laughs> yeah. Better than one hour. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, Chin up, I Bundle. Uh, 
uh, uh, bundle. I know another another pit stop wasn't exactly on our plan, but you guys it's, uh, look it's gonna be okay. You guys oh, we stop are. In at Gourmet Gary's for a good home cooked <laughs> meal. I'm gonna roll insight oh, on this child. <laughs> I'm gonna roll insight on this child. You may be wearing a Gourmet Gary T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's advertising. <laughs> okay. But yes, please roll insight on this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, roll inside on the orange child. He, he could be shilling. He could just be honest. I'm just like, okay. You're only about uh, right. sixty feet away from the from the in, from the gilded kettle, and you can smell the chicken curry coming from there. Hmm. You know I am rather hungry. Do I smell it? It looks up over the fell. Uh, you're a bit what? towards your. Yeah, you're just outside of the town, but you can uh. waft something from the air. You can't quite pin it down, but you do smell something savory. Run your lift their nose up in the air. Sniff. Mm. Beef, beef, beef. Up, packs up all their berries, follows their nose. There's a massive <laughs> this in her pack. <laughs> If I'll just, uh, if I'll just, uh, just, uh, looks around and smiles. Yeah, I can go for some food. For some food. Plus, it smells delicious today. Yeah, but we better keep it quick. Uh, I want to be out of here at least before Sunday. Yeah. Uh, same here. They like to waste them. Mm. All right, so you guys get to the. You guys all meet up at the inn. I at least think you do. Does Talek make your way to the inn? Uh, I make my way to the blacksmith to pick up my gauntlet. Oh yeah, you met Dash. Yeah, you did. Oh yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dash was like, "Hey, what's up?" Oh, I didn't know that. I was. I was not. In there. Yeah, you, you got your gauntlet. Okay. Did you need anything else? Uh, more javelins. That's for sure. But I, all right. I don't know uh, how much. Five silver pieces piece. of gold. Would Five silver a piece. Uh, how much will have five? If you get how much will five cost? Uh, two gold, five silver. Okay then, cool. I buy five. All right. Got me down one gold and four silver. You got yourself five mm. wooden stone javelins, yes, sir. <laughs> and you make your way to the inn because it smells good for some reason. <laughs> oh hey gosh. Yo! He's got he's got bits of chicken and, and rice and curry all over his face. Uh, hey Dash. Question. Did uh, Dash again buy did Dash again bought curry for me too or no? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's treat yourself. He, he was told treat to treat himself, and, and this was the best thing he could think of. Okay, okay. <sighs> It's treat yourself, not treat yourself and friend. The, the cat is ascertaining treasury from my domain. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Rania uh, entered the tavern smelling, smelling food. Because it smells quite spicy. It smells like kind of something that his mom is cakes for some reason. Hmm. Greetings, new customer. Welcome to Gourmet Gary's. What the? What? Who says that? It's Gourmet Gary wearing a big purple and pink chef's hat behind the counter. Oh, hey! You guys are uh, finally trying to brand, huh? Finally? Who are... Looks at you. Looks at you guys. Looks at you. Huh. Waves. Wait. How did Bye. you not... How did you not recognize me? No, no. He, he recognized he you, like, but he, he oh, okay. said greetings new customer to Rania as... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. I keep, I, even out of character, I'm never going to get used to this. Mm. Uh, he, 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 he's, uh, he's wearing a like, silly apron, isn't he? Yeah, you said? Uh, Gourmet Gary? Yeah, the No, so he's sort wearing a purple apron. and pink chef's hat. He's still got oh, his cool. basic leather apron on. That's oh. freaking hot. You look nice. Okay. Uh, um, uh, run your waves and heads uh, uh, in the tavern. I smell something good. What do you have today? Chicken curry for four silver. 
Ooh, that sounds good. With mulberry oh, non bread. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll get some, please. Huh? Oh. Sorry, Randy. Uh, I got a gold. Uh, uh, Randy still hasn't throw figured out six money. Throw six I... silver on the counter. Sold. Yeah. <laughs> I believe about twelve and eleven, so I get six present for Selma Berry. So, uh, I mean, Tommy, Jesus Christ, what you, what you, the night is still young. What do you need a pearl of power for? Oh, power stone. Well, the power no. stone will grant you no. one for you. Huh? Pearl, a of power. pearl of power. Oh, the pearl. It has a special capability allowing one to use a free spell. <sighs> Ryan looks up at that, eh? I'm asking, 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 because apparently that's what you need to enchant a weapon to make it a magic weapon, and oh. yeah. So Milo can't enchant my greatsword, sadly, because I guess you want a pearl of power. Well, well it would also cost money in addition to that. Yeah, like you know, half your. But I, I'm I'm sure money wouldn't be too big of an issue. It's the pearl that's the problem. The problem oh, with I pearls. See. That's gonna be the title of the episode. My <laughs> coils. Rania sits down over by Fell and uh, uh, waits to get her curry. <laughs> oh, you get it almost immediately. Yay! Maybe once we get a red port, I can see about getting my greatsword enchanted. No. Well, if we could obtain a star ring that, which if I can remember correctly, releases a range attack and a flying carpet, the stone could be ours. Uh -huh. Well, that's not the problem. I think it gets consumed in the enchanting process. At least that's just what I assume. Uh, and considering you want the Pearl of Power, if I, if he used it to enchant my greatsword, you're not going to be getting it. When you look over at uh, Dash and uh, Talek, what do you get Pearl of the Power anyway? Uh -uh. Uh, I'm going to roll a history check. Can I attempt that as well? well Arcana, it's, actually. Oh, it's for. Arcana. Can I roll? Sure. Ryan Dash has together. no fucking idea. Jesus right, fuck. It's an 18 for once. I got a 9. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Okay, so bundle Dash, anyway. Dash and Dash, you th you think those things must be impossible? I mean, it's a pearl of power. <laughs> uh, Rania, you think you think they're more common than than people think they are? Italic and Fell, you guys know that uh, these are uncommon, but not rare. Like you guys can like sometimes. They're found in, uh, sometimes they find them in mines, uh, bordering fey wilds. Sometimes they just float at the bottom of rivers from dwarven mines of unknown arcane ability. So, they're, if you search hard enough, you probably could find one. Question. Um, um, can I, yes. can I roll, um, on to figure out what kind of clam or oyster or mussel uh, a pearl of power would come from? Uh, you, um, with that rule, unfortunately, no. You just, you, just have uh, okay. a, you just have a hunch, like, okay, they're they're probably more common than they than we think they are. I think because uh, you think you've seen a couple in your travels. You think you have. Pearls yeah. of power. Uh, pearls of power hmm. aren't. Are ex aren't exactly that rare. If you uh, if you search enough, uh, if you search hard enough, then you might find one. Be it in um, in mines, near, uh, in well, is it was it rivers near uh, near the Fey, uh, the entrance of the Feywilds or mines? Yeah, near mines, the mines in the Feywild, and sometimes rivers downstream from uh, dwarven mines of unknown arcane ability. You you okay is there, Talek? I just remembered something. We can find them much easier. I have a location spell I can use. Oh! Well... Um, well, yeah, you do. Isn't that an item you need to have possession of, though? 
Let me take a look at okay. it. Okay. I know he's talking about locate object, right? And I believe that is of limited range. Is it a thousand feet? I think it's got a pretty yeah. It, yeah, within a thousand. Within a feet. thousand. I never actually read the spell. Hold on. No, so it, they ah. could, in Basically theory, you be work. Within a quarter mile of it. Ah, you have to be familiar with the object. Yeah, and I, I, had, yeah. And I actually had carried around with me during the mission. Work. That is true. He would technically be familiar with the He was Pearl's there power. from the very beginning. Mm, so, in theory, he yeah, that spell could work in theory if we're by a river. Uh, plus, same thing with the Yorn Stone. I carried it on my person the entire time. Cast locate out. Mm. The Uplander boat disintegrates. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Fuck! I pulled if a dash have... again. God damn it. If we have the gold, and if you don't mind not getting the Pearl of Power from Milo, I would like to see about getting my greatsword enchanted and, eventually. Uh, oh. Fell, you know especially that um, you could probably find these in most magic shops. They're probably like a mid-tier item. No, oh, um, well, in normal magic shops, could uh, you could pop, uh, you could definitely find a pearl of power. Oh, they're oh. mid-tier. Yeah, well, let me guess, most magic shops are probably in red. Are they? Mm. I'm asking uh, the GM. Well, in this region. I mean, you in might find region, one. Yes. At, you might find one in a random fort, but yeah. you, you're not familiar with the forts that much. Yeah, yeah. It, as far as I know, yes. Okay. Well, Talik would give Dashkin a light uh, punch on his arm, saying, "Oh, you man, go on ahead and make the deal with Milo." Well, also have to see how much it costs. Did Milo tell Dash how much it would cost? No. No, he did not. Well, after we eat, I'll maybe Bundle can go with me to see how much it would cost. If he doesn't want to gut me when I walk through the door. Uh, says Tyler looks so again. I'll travel with you, man. So well, just bun bundle, and... has, <laughs> bundle has all cold. So I'll just pay. So I'll just pays and, and eats her curry. Yeah. Tyler gets up and uh, pays for his too. <laughs> How much is the curry anyway? Four silver. Dash paid. Yeah. Dash paid for his already. He treated himself. Wait. <laughs> Bundles. Wait. Can I? Can I roll insight on this, right quick? For okay, sure. On what? This is for on Dash, <laughs> because he told him to go treat himself, <laughs> and he's like, "Wait, have you just been here?" <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Go, go this is true. You know what? Fuck it. With that, I will go ahead and yeah. With both of those, I will go ahead and say yeah. This is what Dash thought you meant by treat himself. Wait, what? Talent looks towards Dash again with a confused face. Wait, you I didn't roll insight. You didn't. And that's why I'm playing. That's why I'm being. But yeah, no. Dash. At this point, yeah, no. You can probably tell. Hey, that motherfucker lied earlier. Like, hey, I thought you knew how to how to treat yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. I fell in bundle. Think he fell for the advertising outside. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But yeah, no. Hey, the Mr. Dragonborn Dead. doesn't know how to treat himself because he is of a utilitarian mind. Okay. The bundle just kind of sighs and says, look, what do you do that makes you feel good? Don't say kill. And, and, and don't it, say slaughtering things. I mean, it wasn't going to be that. I know. I was uh, not supposed to talk about that in public. I mean, Dash will show the crappy ocarina he got last time we were in Tret. Usually playing, usually playing this uh, makes me feel nice, but this thing isn't really suited to my 
my physiology, unfortunately. Then why not just go get a better instrument that's better suited for you? Tuba. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because the ones designed for Dragonborn are probably in Redport. Ah. Well, did you tell me this? Or are you or is this... Or... D Dash... Yes, we'll just shrug. This was the only type they had. They didn't have any design for Dragonborn. So, uh, I don't take you as much of a... No, we, we learned that you shouldn't be a drinker. <laughs> <laughs> and last I checked, this place isn't necessarily known for brothel. Then again, you're not one for that type of entertainment either. Hold on, I didn't hear you say again. Oh, no. I said... Bundle says, well, we learned that you shouldn't drink, otherwise we end up paying the goddamn bar. And what was after that? And after that, he fumbles the, then just after mildly says, well, I'm not sure how you are with brothels. What's a brothel? You don't know what a brothel is? Just uh, I, am making, I am making I am making this call. Dash does not know what a brothel is. Right, yeah, looks up sure. from her. yeah, what is that? Rania looks up from her curry, a little bit curious, like, eh? That's brothel. Yeah. What is are it? You, are you guys serious? God yeah. damn it. There, we got a bunch of innocent summer children. You all get this advantage. <laughs> a bunch of innocent summer children, Aragro. Okay, look. Out of, the, out of everyone, Bundle's the most worldly. He wouldn't know what this is. <laughs> Come on now. And Phil's been to the city. Come on. I've been born and raised on a farm. Okay. You are talking to a dragonborn who has only been focused on a singular thing since he was 14. Do you okay. think he would know what a brothel is? Why do people Puby, just address? brush him over. Well then, Bundle's just gonna sigh and say, You know what? I'll tell you when you're older, Dash. I'm 24. Dash is just confused. When you're older, and I'll tell you when you're, when you, never mind. He says as he's looking at Rania. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Phil's just gonna just I'm, keep I'm on eating here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Dash is gonna try to roll insight. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? Same thing with me. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hide when it. When you tap their fingers okay. together. At Ooh. that. Bond, it is obvious. It is obvious. This is a mature subject matter, and yeah, Bundle's not going to talk blushing. about it. I'm not. He's not blushing. Oh, Phil uh, definitely is blushing. How did the cat uh, man uh, blush? Yeah, I'm assuming with a 16 dash realizes. Oh, okay. Uh, what? 16. You get the idea that it's something adults do. The town looking around you, you're like. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, in that case, Dash looks like he still doesn't get it. They have not tired much, Dash again, giving him the simple word to bow, chicks or bow, wow. But, but what are those saying? noises you just made? I don't know either. What is that? It's short term getting down and freaky with a female. Oh. Or male, depending oh. on your purpose. Ah, oh, that is true. Or male, oh, whatever coin will play. We'll pay. Uh, that might explain why I don't know. Please, that. it's family day at Gourmet Gary's. Keep some conversation <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either, yeah. Either There's way. also another reason why Dash doesn't know what, what a brothel is. Either way, Start, starts with. It's, Go ahead. Not, it's not like a circus is in town either. Oh, so, come on. What is a circus? Wait, hold up. Wait, no, wait, hold up. Dash, can you repeat, uh, repeat that? Yeah, I was gonna say there's there is a second reason why Dash probably doesn't know what a brothel is. Which is? He has never been with anyone. Oh, uh, well. Uh. <laughs> Which that is out of character information unless you roll a good insight. Pundle's okay. not gonna get inside that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the thing here would be disrespectful. It's, yeah, he it's is, not, he... It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Because <laughs> that would just be an easy oh, joke. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Of course. What do of I course know? he would. <laughs> you know that. You know that. Dashigan still doesn't quite know what it is. Rodney gently pats his bicep. It's all right, buddy. Right. Anyway. Scoot, 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 scoot. Yeah, scoot, scoot away a bit. <laughs> Just know that Dash, if you were to ever go to one, you would be, you would be an easy target. Just to say the least. He, he probably wouldn't understand it even if he went to one. Well, yeah, I'm the biggest one there. <laughs> <laughs> they would all want to attack me first. <laughs> I am turning Dash into 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 frigging Drax. <laughs> the thing is, you're not necessarily wrong with his intelligence score. Is he is <laughs> just <laughs> like Drax. He is very. Like yes. Drax is a pretty is a pretty good uh, comparison for Dash. They both are only have single minded objectives in mind and don't really go much beyond that. And when they do, they're fucking ridiculous. I want the next time Dash failed the stealth roll for him to just stand really, really still. <laughs> I might not do that now. If I don't move, he won't see me. <laughs> Goes to grab. It. Another chip? No, he not wants a stealth roll. He just covers his eyes. If I can't see them, they can't see me. <laughs> Bundle's just gonna shake his head and say, Look, you've got to find something that you like to do other than just eating. Eating and fighting are... There's more to life than just eating and fighting. I, I, I wish I could go into more detail about it, but... We are kind of in... Well, I'll just tell you along the way. Just, you know, have an idea for what you want to do outside of eating and fighting. Do you require, an, an in, do you require a room at the inn for the evening, or are you guys just passing through? Uh, uh, we're just passing through. Yeah. Meanwhile, Phil is just like... Okay. Puts away the pot roast. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, Ronnie looks over at the pot roast. Meanwhile, mm. Phil's just like... Uh, uh, Phil's just like... I'm gonna stay quiet because this is something to do with my best friend since childhood, and I kind of don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Awkward thing For to talk many, about with your many reasons, <laughs> especially not with. You mean you, you're not gonna go all wingman right, so dash again? Moving and... on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving I on. assume we. I assume we all finished eating. Yep. It's good. Hmm. It's all weird. right. Ronnie would like to order some of that pot roast to go, though. The, uh, really? Can I get a box? I'd like to have, like, you know, do you have, like, a little, little container bowl or something that, that I can bring with me? You know, like, uh, a flagon or something that if I can put inside I of it? Had, uh, if I had a, a nickel for my records. He blinks. He's like, eight silver. It's what you you cut out there. Eight silver. Eight silver? Okay. Uh, to short. Uh, she hands over a gold. Hmm. He just takes a big, cuts off some pot roast like Stecky style, onto a big old rye piece of bread, and then smashes a a like tortilla bowl on top of it and then wraps it in like in like a uh, butcher's paper like there you go drip she ooh uh, she stares it's about the size really of your head mm -hmm. trying to see if there's anything inside my pack that I can use to contain it with you said it was dripping right yeah mm. single drip every 10 seconds Hmm. She takes it. Uh, da, 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 let's see. She A wild the basket west. salesman appears. Hey, I'll sell you a basket for two <laughs> gold. <laughs> uh, that's more than I paid for the the the, the, the thing itself. Well, it can do a lot more than just carry sandwiches. Ho, 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 ho. Hey! Why am I getting a Jesus? He sounds like he's dying. <laughs> no, he sounds like a prostitute. 
But what if I get it wet? Out of character, I'm cringing. <laughs> <laughs> what, but sir, what if I get the basket wet? Uh, Not my problem. <laughs> with a sigh, dashing in just hands over two gold and for a basket and gives the basket to Rania. <laughs> All right, are we ready to move on? I think Please. Please. he makes up a biscuit basket. Oh, by the way, um, uh, yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing else. I'll do this. Uh, when yeah. up. Dash will wait until we eventually get to Redport to see about getting his great sword enchanted. Uh, sure. Don't forget Summerfell. You guys stop at Summerfell first. Uh, we can always go back to that. Yeah, let's get to a force. That's more of a request than a, a, yeah, a request than a quest. Yes. Oh, side quest then. Gotcha. Yeah. Side not, quest. Not even, a side, not even a side quest. It was just like a, hey, can you hit this guy up? Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm so miscellaneous then. So yes. which, uh, which fort are we heading to, by the way? Uh, Let me see the map. Fort. I haven't got it. Uh, the closest fort to us from here is Fort Libby. I think it's more than the closest one that's on the way towards uh, so Redport. that's on the way towards Redport. Uh, okay, that sounds good. Uh, Let's go with that one. Uh, may I see that map, please? I'm uh, sure. Knock yourself out. Talik would, would take the map and look towards Redport, and follow the and look towards the southeast, where Milo pointed on the map he had. Huh. So that's what it is. What? All right mm. then. What are you looking at? Uh, well, talk to Milo. And I think I found myself a next found myself a teacher. Ronya looks at the map. She makes little uh, like uh, little circles on the map. If it's places. if it's on the way to Redport, then be sure to mark it. Now like proceeds to mark it here. Mm -hmm. Uh we're not going to Fort Kim Tree yet, are we? Um <laughs> Probably yes, not, because I, uh, I would. Okay, uh, just just checking. Uh, so, uh, shall we get going? Also, We're gonna also go. four chem trees not on not on the map we have available. Oh, okay, but uh, uh, I'm aware that it's over here, right? That's up, to, that's up to the DM. Yeah, you you guys were told it was to the south and to it was to the south. It was on the south end of the region and on the east end of the deserto. You do, you were you don't know exactly where it is. Okay, okay, I'm good with that. Anyway, I don't care. Moving on. Let's keep going. Yeah, like to Fort Libby. I just think the sooner we're able to get to Redport, the better, because <laughs> we all have several things there that we need to do, as well as getting geared up and getting better work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Run your raises her hand. Uh, since we lack a cart, should I, uh, try, try summoning up some horses? Yes, actually. Even me and Bundle were talking about that at some point. Okay. Uh, I'll be, uh, using Spot, but yeah, uh, I can uh, I can see about conjuring us some animals up. Uh, let's see what horses. Uh, Na so... Natural one arcana check. You you Ooh. summon a bunch of uh. <laughs> you, you you summon a you bunch summon of dire Clifford, sloths. A small red collie. Aww. <laughs> uh, I thought my idea would be funnier. Dire sloths. They count as mounts. They just. Go slower than walking speed. <laughs> for their for the for their dash. Dire snails. And you have to roll charisma <laughs> saves to get near them. <laughs> Wait. What? Uh, 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 the draft horses that I can summon. Sure. Uh, okay. Conjure animal. Uh, let's see. Challenge rating of I can summon. How many of us are there? Are there five? Five. Yes. Okay, so to meet that qualification, um, oh wait, uh, I'm uh, I'm rather light. I could probably uh, get on someone else's. That is uh, also true. Yeah. So I could uh, summon uh, war horses. Yeah, summon four war horses. Okay, 
Um, uh, let's say I get outside of town for this, though. Yes. Uh, Runny starts heading, uh, heading southward. Yeah, I was about to say, we're already they're out of town. this. The, when we exit the town on the south side, okay. away yeah. from the river. Fine, yeah, man. I wait. <laughs> oh, come on. No, we're not having a repeat of this shit. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> we Hello, don't dude. need to destroy the love Okay. <laughs> Rania claps her hands together, and uh, she um, uh, casts Conjure Animal uh, to make uh, Fine more war horses. Yeah. Yep, oh, Conjure Animals. Yeah, Conjure Animals. Blade. So, so four yeah. beasts of challenge rating, half or lower. Yeah, uh, four war horses. Are those half or lower? Uh huh. Yeah, those are half. All right. War horses are half. Yep. So four war horses appear. I'm gonna give this Yay. one to you. So. Uh, okay. Uh, Let me give this one to me. Move. All right. Oh. So. Oh, we going all the way to Fort Lippy? I mean, I don't see any reason not to with I war horses. It. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, can we get around the tram, though? Yeah. How many miles can these things go before they need to have a rest? Uh, before they need a rest, they can get just on to the border there. So okay. they can make it here and like here. They can travel 15 miles before they need a, sh they need a slow or rest. Okay. Okay. How far? What? How far that could they get us before it, before it becomes dusk? What's what's a war horse's? Let me see. War horse. Uh, sixty. Sixty. They also have the ability to do trampling charge. Hmm. All right, but dashing, it can move 120, so they can go. Wait, can they? Up 12 miles yeah. an hour for two hours. So. 100. Oh yeah, yeah, 100. Yeah. 12 miles within an hour for. 12 miles an hour for two hours would uh. Get us oh, for an hour and a to... half, actually. Yeah, I got to be realistic with this. So they can move up to. Okay. Yeah, up to 18 miles. So you, you could probably make Fort Lippy by nightfall, but you need to take a short rest with the, with the horses before you make it all the way there. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Dash would be okay with that. Same okay, way. get on the horse. I'll get on with Talik. <laughs> no. Actually, Tal no, no, I'll get on with Feliana uh, because he's probably heavy enough with armor. Yeah, I was actually going to comment yeah, on that. And Feliana did wear armor and he lied. Mm -hmm. That's both girls. Yeah. I've got a lot of gear on me that is what's Yeah, let's let's I'm go. wearing any of that gear though. Oh well, moving on. Yes, oh yeah, I've got I have got a hundred and eleven pounds worth of gear on me. Okay, bundle, you know that there's a big swollen mass in uh Rania's uh traveling <laughs> pouch. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. He knows the bro. Uh, mm -hmm. what you got there, buddy? Ronnie looks over at bundle. What? That. He says pointing at pointing out the obvious bulge. I could point out your bulge, buddy. <laughs> we are horrible people. This is on your are going to hell. <laughs> oh, it's a tumor. <laughs> Uh, Runya takes out the massive red and green berry. Uh, the hell's is that? What is I, that? I may have done a little bit of experimenting. You uh, have sinned, Mother Nature. My father will see this. This is not a sin. This is not a sin. Last I checked, you weren't a paladin of oh, nature. Yeah. Uh, this, this, this is. I'm a farmer. Is natural. Kind of. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what this thing does. Dashigan is very tempted to poke it with a claw. 
Uh, he's I, not going to, I, but he, he's tempted. I should probably have a look at this thing now, since God apparently wants us to uh, draw attention to it. Um, well, uh, run. Well, yeah, let's just a little wait bit. until we get to the fourth before checking that thing out. Um, <laughs> they might take it off. Okay. It, 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 no, it doesn't have a fuse on it. Also, what it doesn't, have an, you know that long, it doesn't have an exceptionally long wick. I have a stem. <laughs> <laughs> My god, is it really a bomb? The bo fucking bomb. <laughs> okay, look in the vote. Should I check this thing out now? That Tell's might be like, a good don't. idea after that comment. Okay. Tell's just like, don't set it on fire, don't set it on fire. Uh, Bumble, like, you, mind, you mind giving me a hand taking a look at this thing? I feel like if I don't, we're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel so like if you do, we're gonna investigation die. Investigation or arcana? Uh, uh, let's see. I was gonna do nature. May I? Item? May uh, I investigate? You just mess with this item. That's arcana. <laughs> Rudyard taps his fingers together Tell and may stares at the belly. May I help? I'm gonna do investigation because sure. that's my higher. Thing. Thank you. Oh, actually, they're, they're the same damn thing. I got a 10. Uh, I got a 14. I got a 22. Yeah, okay. okay, Rania, you look at this and it's like, it... it, it look at the thing wrong with the berry. It's red and green. <laughs> That's natural colors. There's nothing wrong with yeah. it. It just wants... It just, just needs a little love. And care. <laughs> Afel, you look at it and you, you poke at it, feel the skin. The skin is actually rather thin on it. Mm -hmm. Like, you can actually feel the fruit just underneath it. Like, just... Like jelly like. Mm. Uh, Bumble, <laughs> you take a look at this berry, you give it a good sniff, and it smells cold. Like what? like minty, like you sniff it and your nose hairs kinda like shiver, like whoa. Listen, if you guys are really concerned about this thing, we can have it for dinner tonight. Uh, I don't know if I wanna eat it. Uh, <laughs> Bundle just says we should not eat that. Why not? I want to test something. He says as he takes out an arrow. Hey, no! She uh, uh, hugs the berry close and like uh, oh, holds it a give away from. Don't hurt my baby. It's a berry. Yes, and I made it with my magic. Just, just humor us for the for the moment, Rania. This is quite. This is very different than all the other berries you made. Mm. Quite. Marania hesitantly yes. holds it over to him. All right, taking the tip of his arrow and holding it by the shaft, he's going to poke the arrow head into the actual berry. Oh no! Mm. Oh <laughs> god, that noise! Hmm. Please <laughs> tell me that wasn't a bad. No, the well, horse take a just... detour once again. Oh Ooh. God, no! Here we go. I knew it. Uh, oh, Ronnie just became why did a. Why stop it? Because <laughs> my character wasn't aware. Uh, okay. God no! Oh, Here we go. What kind of save do I have to make? That's a lot of dice. That is a lot of dice. Oh no, Bundle! Why? Okay. Well, I'm dead. That doesn't fit at all. Right. <sighs> Let me try that again. Suddenly you've summoned Cthulhu for some reason. Sense. 
Doesn't make any sense at all. I was just curious. Uh, curiosity. curiosity. Kill the cat. Ooh. <laughs> that bundle's right on. Oh, yes, it is. It's gotta get on yep. chase. <laughs> yep. Suspense is killing me. It's probably about to kill at least one of us. I well, always thought Vero was the first one to die. Well, all on ground. You're uh, all gonna die or get splattered. Okay. So. You poke the red and green berry with your arrow shaft. <laughs> okay. And nothing happens. <laughs> you mother. So it even you, you penetrate poke it the and fruit. it's like jello. It just sinks in. You pull it out. There's like some meat fruit on it, but it's some meat of the fruit, but it's most of it's staying put. Let's say. It didn't do anything. Well, since since nothing actually happened, I'm gonna take my arrow out and inspect the actual juice on or whatever meat I t take from it with, by pulling the arrow out. That's All on right. the actual it arrow. Only, it only takes a little bit of the meat since a lot of it sticks inside. But the little bits you do see it coating your arrowhead are white with gray black veins. Oh. Oh no. Is this a living fucking creature? No, uh, I think lots of plants have actual vein-looking stuff on them. They do. I'm going to keep an eye on the wound that was wondering if it's going to heal up or not, because at this point... Yeah, the, the, uh, the skin is punctured, but the fruit, like, reseals up. Jesus Christ! Like, the, the skin doesn't reheal, but the but the meat of the fruit, like, just... just. Why do you turn your head at this? The hell did you make? I don't know. What is that? Yeah. Thing is, how I can't really get a read as to what the hell this thing is, and not knowing any other way to test it, he's tested every single other berry that this crazy druid has made. So he looks to the others and says, yeah. "Okay, uh, whichever one of you can heal me, if anything happens to me, just." I have that ready. <laughs> Hold on. Taliana? Yes? Bardic Inspiration Bundle. <sighs> Do it. You got this bundle? I hope you don't... Nothing bad happens to you? Uh, Question mark? You and me both. He says I... as, as... Oh, you... boo, I see you. Wait, I'd like to see wait. you try it better. Uh, wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Those horses wait, wait. are stamping impatiently. What? What? what, 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 what? Oh, good call. call actually. Get concentration. No, uh, the uh, uh, ritual. Divinity ritual. Uh, so it takes ten mean? minutes. Okay, never mind. Toss it as a spell. I'm sure we. Will. I do have the leaf for it. Yeah, uh, toss it as a spell. Uh, okay. You don't remember if you have a focus. You don't need the material components. Yeah, does he? I assume he has an amulet, right? He probably or, has a or does he need? He probably needs something from a specific god. Mm. I have. Anyway, the leaf. go ahead. Yeah, he has the leaf. Continue. Con oh, yeah, continue. I uh, Talik would proceed to pull out the uh, uh, you, uh, you. How do you pronounce you. the name? You. 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 Your leaf you. and place you it on the fruit and casts detect poison and disease. All right, the leaf disintegrates and immediately the information pops in your head that. Okay, whatever's. All right, do you tap it on the fruit or you tap it on the arrow? I would place it on the fruit itself. Alright. You get the idea that, first of all, this will decrease your speed immediately. Oh! And. Oh no. pot <laughs> potentially cause you to hallucinate something very specific. For a set amount of time up to 12 minutes. <laughs> I really oh my god, thank want... you, Talek! <laughs> okay. I really want to eat that So now. it is a hallucinogenic cold berry. And this is while Bundle is just holding it 
it, only it on his arrowhead. It looks like he was a, he was about to eat it. <laughs> Until yeah. Malik was like, "Wait, you Screw your mushrooms, man! I can make you some good stuff." Wait, wait, what do we do, Anya? Bundle? Yeah. You might want to turn that into a potion for weapons instead, because that would decrease speed and cause someone to hallucinate while the speed is dropped. Anya's eyes widen. That's a... down at the berry. That's a hallucination berry. Yes, it is. And it's slow spin. I'm very glad you didn't eat that yet, Bundle. Oh, thank you. Bumble then immediately uh, keeps that on his arrow and just you know, puts it in his quiver. Go like, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of like Alex's idea. Anyway, should we get going? Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. Uh, this fairy's gonna make a lot of potions. Anyway, she puts it back into her pack. I'm gonna be using that once we get to Redport. Okay. And That's a very useful berry. Oh yeah, it's freaking Just gigantic. The, the slow effect by itself, because dear God, slow is amazing. Yeah, uh, I also have the mystery berries, which we gotta figure out what that is later. Not now, but later. I think we figured out how we can figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to Talik. Yeah. Well, you can okay. figure out if it's poisonous and what the poison does. Okay. That's it is still not an identify that's... berry. Yeah. It's identified poison. It can, it, can, it can still cut out, like, whether or not it's unsafe to eat. Like, we can Wait, get that can much you, like, yeah. Wait, can you cast Identifiery? Uh, I think we've been over this, uh, and uh, the, the answer was no, unfortunately. Okay, uh -huh. I'm back. I got uh, you. I welcome back. That was a really good call, Talik. Yeah. Okay. Shall we get going, then? The horses are getting impatient. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Money gets on the horse with Thal. Thal gets on and, the horse. Yeah. And, and we're, we're off. off. To Fort Lippe. You have to take the reins because I'm too short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys make good headway, and you and you cross the ways. You pass by the the tram station, and it's currently halfway away at the time. So you make a nice make nice headway. It's cloudy out. There is some distant, distant thunder to the south, to the way south. Like, just over the marsh, actually, you remember. And, yeah, the sun's barely peeking out between the clouds. Like, it seems like you've barely seen the sun at all today. Um, which probably could explain some of the Druidcraft shenanigans. And, oh boy. You guys make it just past the tram, and then you turn onto the grassy fields. And... After about to... an hour and a half, hour forty-five minutes of drive of uh, riding Try the horses it. hard, they eventually slow, even disregarding your commands, and slow to a brisk walk, but hmm. not even really a gallop. Okay. I think it's about time we uh, took a took a rest. Yeah, that's a, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Did you guys bring water for the horses? I can make water. Also, we have uh, canteens. Yeah, I'm assuming water would be in the, be included in the uh, explorers' pack. Water canteens. Yeah. Also, we got a whole bunch of good berries for them to munch on. I'll be right back, guys. Keep going. Okay. Why do you dismount and uh? Sleeping bag. Eh. Uh, we're not sleeping here. We're yeah, resting. we're we're taking a short rest. Yeah, it's currently late afternoon, but it's not quite night yet. Yeah, uh, Runya uh, feeds uh, feeds each of them uh, five berries each, which uh, should uh, replenish them uh, pretty go pretty well. All right. If we get, if we get this up for you, we'll make for it by nightfall. That's, yes, that's the plan. All right. So, anything specific you guys are doing during the fight besides just uh, yeah. punishing the horses? Dash, you can all just take a quick scan around and take in the surroundings, see if anything catches his eye. Okay, percept. Um, it's fifteen. Uh, Not bad. The Wheatland surrounding you is 
fairly active. There's like birds here and there. There's a lynx moving about just to the to the east of you. Um, how, out of curiosity, how close are these wheatlands to Dashkin's home uh, environment? Your home would be... Wouldn't it be a bit more sparse than this? Like, yeah. This would be yeah, No, 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 like... Yeah, you're, how, how... you're not used to seeing this much wheat and active plant okay. life. You're, okay. you're used to seeing more scrub. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, barely nourished to, like, desert grass types. Okay, I was just... Dash was just curious. It's a bit more lush and nourishing. Okay. Good plants. Like, two steps up. Um, really? but, no. Yeah. It's it's active, but it's not like any danger. You don't see any mountain mm -hmm. lions or anything coming near you. It's more like just a, just a small lynx padding about, stalking some of the birds huddled around you. Mm -hmm. and, okay, well, while we're resting, Dash will give his longsword a few test swings, mm -hmm. one-handed. All right. Ronnie is uh, sitting down and uh, looking over the mystery berry that he has, and he's going to ritual cast detect poison disease on them. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's my skit. Stop stealing my skit. It, it, both, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's both of you. And you guys so, are our poison detectors. Yeah. <sighs> and I still have less and restoration. And Dash consumes it. Okay, so you detect poison on the berries? Yeah. See if it's poisonous. Uh, it is not poisonous. Hmm. Okay. So it's not poisonous. I mean, this may be a good effect? Which, Which means it, it might not necessarily produce a negative effect if you need it. Yeah. Um, can, uh, can someone come over here and take a look at this berry? I'd like to sing out myself, but uh, sure. I'm not the whole Bundle's, concentration. Bundle's been taking the bullet a lot. Been taking the arrow a lot. I'll take this one. Okay, I have no idea what this berry does, but I've confirmed that it is not poisonous. Probably. <sighs> Sheathing the longsword, Dash will still obviously hesitantly take a nip, take a nibble of this mysterious berry. Mm. Please tell me it's a caffeine berry. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> he ends up running all the way to 40. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you take a bite of it? Yeah. Cool. He said nibble, but sure. Roll a con um, save. Oh, oh here we go. don't worry, don't worry, this is, uh, this is what happens uh, any time. <sighs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I do it! <laughs> I can't save you from that. Mm-hmm. Hey, at welcome least it was me and Welcome back to the time. dynamics of good and evil. <laughs> oh god. So oh, Dash dear. catches fire. Oh, no! <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, he is consumed by white flames, and he feels uh, them. Wait. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Immediately tries to stop, drop, and roll. I have to roll for forest fire. Oh. <laughs> okay, Rodney is making it rain. Uh, oh, no. She was just making it rain on everything all around them. But... Ten gallons worth on everything, uh, like around Dash again and on the, all the brush around them. How right. much damage do I take? Uh, that wasn't that one. Jesus. Jesus Christ! You take you take eight fire damage. <laughs> Jesus! What? I thought it was a poisonous. <laughs> is he is he put out? I know. Ron, he's just making it rain on him. Ah! Uh, uh, why? Just gallons. Ah! Oh, just, just, just keep rolling! Keep rolling! Just, 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 keep yeah, rolling am I, on am I out by now? Gallons! Yeah, you're out after about a minute worth of rolling and galloning. 
Oh my god, damn it! Are you okay? No! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! How burnt does Dash look? That's uh, actually kind of a... I mean... I mean, you, I you only could, took eight you damage, could look, but... You could look more burned. <laughs> I, 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 I'm at a, I am at uh, like you, 56 out of 64. Your, your backside is kind of blistered. Uh, don't take offense from this, Rania, but I don't think I'm eating another berry for a while. That is fair! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> All of the elemental damage I've taken is from Rania. I can imagine bundles <laughs> reaching for a berry. Oh, no, 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 no. Roger, uh, you, you might want to take one more. She, uh, she takes out a better berry and hands it to him. Da Dash will eat that. This one's good. Dash will hesitantly eat the better berry. How much do I heal? Four. Uh, do, 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 do. And this one is better. Better berry. It's better. Uh, wait, I, have, I now you have take, 40. You take five healing. Okay. I now have 45 better berries. <laughs> yeah, Dash is just gonna go take a sit for the rest of the short rest. Uh, oh, like, I, can't. Can't. I, I could not have called that that. What the hell? Well, for one, he ate that thing. How the hell did he get fire outside of his body? Don't make sense. <laughs> Dash is <laughs> allergic to berries now. <laughs> what the hell? Violently allergic. Berries with lunch. I wonder oh what happens God. if you like succeed at that Constitution save. I, feel like I, I I feel like the fire was spe specifically because I nat one. Yeah, no. it could. Be. Oh no, no, it wasn't. No, but that nat one didn't help. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so uh, it probably doesn't enchant your blade with fire. Uh. But it does light you on fire, which... Oh, is a bad I, thing? I, yeah, I don't even know how you could use that to poison someone. That I would might, kind of... I might be able to mark slingshot it at them. I see might... it gets in their mouth. Oh, uh, Rania <laughs> looks over to Feliana. You're resistant to fire, right? I... I think she's resistant to cold. I'm resistant to fire. Oh. Rania... Uh... Okay, I think we'll have, to, we'll have to double check that later, but yeah, I, it's either fire or cold. It might be cold. I think, I think it's actually fire. Resistant to fire because I, no, the, I thought it replaced your hellish resistance. No, it didn't. It, it, it didn't. I checked already. All right, I'll I'll check five e tools later. All right, cool. so okay. you guys take two hours just to relax and not catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dash <laughs> might have a little bit of. Very PTSD at this point. Uh, I'm sorry. Here's a shit. Yeah, but uh, well, I'm checking it right now. It doesn't say it doesn't replace there my are, hellish resistance. There are a few gnats hovering around your basket, around you. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, the, uh, she used a little bit of druid craft to blow them away. All right. Uh, like she might. Down, she yeah. does a magic. Oh, awesome! That, you still have a prime rib awesome. sandwich the size of your head. The prime rib what? You still have a prime oh, rib yeah. sandwich the size uh, of your head. Might be a good time to start eating yeah. some of that. Uh, uh, oh, the size of my head? Okay, she starts to like, uh, she takes it out and starts cutting it up and uh, hands everyone a piece of the prime rib sandwich. Dash I'm pretty sure just, it's big enough Dash that everyone... Just inhale that after his, after his ordeal. <laughs> Thank you, Rania. Looks towards yeah. Rania. Uh, what uh, other berries did you make? Uh, a was, lot. During that time, uh, it was just that, the flower berries, and uh, the massive berry. Also, I made a couple of better berries. Uh, when I say couple, I mean a lot. Let me give a flower berry a try. I, I'm i sorry, guys, but I just... Oh. I just had... Uh, a, a flower berry and actually... Five better berries over to Talik too. These might help you. Actually, uh, he, he um uh, and uh, everyone uh, five uh, better berries. Have these on you just in case. Thanks, uh, Talik. Just need to eat the flower berry first. 
All right, I need Dashigan and Bundle to roll charisma saves. Uh, uh... Hey, I think I've made it this time. Hey, charisma saves? What the fuck? Because of the flower berry. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Shoot. Bundle? Oh, yeah, he said it was going to be... Um, All right. God, I just hope it doesn't pull a whole Zoidberg thing. I'm so in into you. Forty. Just, will that bring me down to twenty good berries left if I give everyone the group? Uh, yeah, the, um, the, 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 five. the the tresemme shower of flower petals hits Talik and. Dashkin Bono just like yeah I guess that happened shake it off and just continue eating their prime rib sandwich a la mode and after about a couple hours you guys uh, manage to rest up your horses seem fine although the horses lap at the puddles since they can't drink from canteens okay yeah okay well there's uh, there's puddles everywhere now for for the horses your stomachs Oh. Oh no. Oh wait, who just left? There we go. Bundle b- bundle lagged back in finally. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay, shall we mount up and head to uh Fort Wait. Yeah, Fort Lippy. And uh I think uh Feliana and Bundle should probably go first. And uh you guys should probably have like Oh wait. Your your uh what? But Conjure animal only lasts a concentration spell up to one hour. Yeah. Um, okay, so I gotta make another pair. So how far did we actually make it? Eh, uh, you made it there. Eh. Oh well. That's still that's yeah. within Port Lippy distance. And I'm pretty sure that uh, unless if something terrible happens, uh, we're not gonna run into a battery, so I don't mind. Uh, yeah, you can make it there in four ooh. hours. Yeah. Um, uh, conjure up with some more war horses. Okay. Uh, nope. There you go. Alright. Yeah! Yeah, you trek along, you pass some more birds, and you make it to the gates of a fort by nightfall. Their of torch course. is lit, and yeah. you spot a... a dwarf just sitting in the wall. In on the wall or literally in the wall? Like he's sitting on a log protruding from the fort like a gargoyle. Okay. Hello. Got himself a big old heavy crossbow and, and a hand axe like mm. 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 Ah. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Oh, uh, you have business? Mm. Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, yes, we do. Do you and, know? Um, Prove it. it. Yes. Um, Show them the tattoos. I planned on it, says Bundle, as he, he reveals... He's he's on since he's got had them. So he reveals the tattoo that from the uh, from the Veiled Keep. It says, we come as emissaries from... I'll oh, reveal certain tattoo too, oh, as well. That. I that was someone beating on a damn window. Just keep going. Mm. Okay. The dwarf blinks, adjusts adjusts his monocle binoculars. Like mm. <laughs> sounds like someone's drunk. No, someone's just being an asshole. The, keep them. Hmm. Grenham? Yeah? Got some emissaries. All right. Get in here. And he just climbs on top of his, just stands up on top of his, and pokes himself inside of a little porthole right behind him and just squeezes himself in and sudden, and then (coughs) the wooden drawbridge lowers, cross, lowers, and like, all right, come on in. You're here. Okay. Following Bundle and Feliana in. 
Yeah. Okay. Are we done with the horses then? I can dismiss them then. Yeah, if everyone's off, Ronnie dismisses the horses. Yeah. Yep. I have never felt so confused before. So the dwarf meets you inside. Uh, Bundle, you notice this dwarf is missing his right thumb. Oh. Hmm. So. Can't thumb war anymore. You can only do it at left. He just looks you up and down like, hmm, hmm. He's also okay, chewing yeah, yeah. incessantly on his beard. <laughs> Something to uh, get you out of there, buddy? I haven't eaten since 10 a.m. Oh, God. Run your, run your hands, the dwarf. Here you are. Hey, you hand him what? What do you hand? Yeah, I your mic cut out. Run your hands, the dwarf of Butterberry. These are pretty good. Rabbit food? No, not for rabbit food. The rabbit's over there. This stuff is good, though. Yeah, you as, the, as the one who, as the obvious meat eater of the group, I can hesitantly confirm the, berry, the better berries are pretty good. Ron, you whispers to the dwarf, I'm thinking about making some wine out of them later. Roll persuasion. Uh, persuasion? Alright. He narrows his eyes and is like, uh, maybe later. Just, just, just. Okay. Stuffs it on uh, his like, belt. I'm one of those belt darts and like, poosh, like, I'll get to it later. Anyway, I tried. I tried to help Ronya. So, yeah, I get it. okay. Now you say you're from the, the failed keep? The failed keep. Okay, okay. Hey. that's, uh, is that what they call Merito now? And the Merito? Mm. Mm. No. no. It's not Fort Merito. The the place the place in the Feywild. Blinks. Oh. Okay. I think I know what that means. Um Does he so actually do you want to see the CO? I take it? That would be a start. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, she'll probably be done with her karaoke in about an hour or so I'll send you to the burlesque karaoke can we attend the karaoke you're going to want to head for the crossed cups I will slaughter the burlesque all of you. club <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> Bel Beliana hears karaoke oh no <laughs> is that good kind enough of to be a quote? I guess. I don't know. What? What? Yeah, just, with just head straight in and to the left, and you'll eventually see a big, gaudy red and purple building. Hmm. Actually, it'll look it'll look red and blue at night. So yeah. Wait, the blue turns into red. Shades. No, the, no, the purple turns to blue at night. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Different times, different. <laughs> Eat. Shall we head in? Thank you, yeah, uh, thank and, you, kind uh, sir. Don't piss off the hobgob. The what now? Hobgob. What's a hobgob? We just got him. He's he's our new he's our new bouncer. But don't mess with him. Did he find me? <laughs> sure. Yay! Oh. Over. Great. I'll destroy all of you. Uh, I need a drink after catching fire. I'm not I'm sure if that's about to say. <laughs> yeah, no, I was the about to say I'm surprised. As you walk away, it slowly turns like, okay. The, Dash isn't wearing a shirt. That dwarf sees the fucking, the fucking burn scar on him. The fresh ass burn scar. Hey, Grimmin. Hi. Close up. Hi. And just the, the drawbridge draws back up and clicks into place. It's like, oh, right, back to back to post. And you guys head into town, and into the fort. And it's basically a, a walled town. There's 
a lot, hmm. a few more soldiers hanging around. These look like soldiers rather than just guards. Hmm. So, they bundle. Like, yep. Like actually wearing half plate and scale mail. How much credit did we have for these forts again? Uh, I think it was four hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh yeah. Thinking right. about getting yourself some new stuff. No, just in case we decide to use it. Hmm. Could be a good idea. Yeah, if I guys, ever die. If you guys pass Sorry. by uh, some barracks that have the sign have a sign of a sheepdog in front of it, Ooh. there's a big old twisted hunk of metal that has like swords and spears sticking out of the roof that just says Jeb's can openers. And then there is right in center of town there's a big old like straw and stick hut. That says Valharan and Company, General Store. And Ooh. you get to the center, and you're like, okay, you said turn left, left. And you see this big old building glowing with red light. Uh, it's a blue building with red light coming out of it. It's like, I, I think I know where we're heading. Like, okay. It's probably that one. Pretty. It doesn't look out or anything. Yeah, it looks nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That reminds me, I should get myself a dress. Uh, we, we are, uh, I guess we go ahead and Look, it's the fifth dimension. I guess we go start. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should be good now, Bundle. Uh, uh. I'm never good. Oh, where we go? But yes, we uh, go ahead and approach the building then. Ye. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So you guys approach, and you see a medium-sized humanoid sitting at a chair outside the door. Just nose deep inside of a graphic novel. Oh, what now? Those exist? Yeah, it's just it's just a book with pictures inside of it. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Totally exist. Um, but, uh, I'm guessing. Take that, nerd. Da da Dash will speak lowly to the group. I'm guessing this is the uh, hobgoblin bouncer they were talking about. Yes. Yeah, that was a human. Yeah. Isn't that a human, human? No, he he said humanoid. Oh. Hobgoblins are humanoids. Oh, oh, he said humanoid. Okay. All right. Well, as we approach this. Person just sitting outside the door. Do they look obviously look like they're guarding the door? Hmm. Do they obviously look like they're guarding the door? Yeah, like they're they they have their feet just out in the doorway to where it's like yeah that you have to cross them in order to get in. All right. Well, once we get to the actual building, uh, I look over to Fell, nod, and Fel nods. look over to the human, look over to the humanoid, and say, uh, "Hail." Uh, we were told to come this way. Huh? To talk. Lowers the comic book. It's dang it. <sighs> oh, oh, my God. oh wow. hey, dang it. How have you been? Dang it. Dang it, you live. He's chewing on pitch. He's like, huh? huh? Wait, what? Was huh? it dang it a goblin? Yes, yeah, he was a goblin. Yeah, he was a goblin. He's gotten yeah. pudgier. Uh, oh. Wait, oh my God, dang oh, it. goblins evolve into hobgoblins? Maybe. Oh, can can they digivolve into uh, into <laughs> into others? Maybe. Anyway, he just like chewing on picks. Like, yeah. What do you want? Oh. Hi, dang it. How's it going? Dash will offer a friendly wave. He's gonna point up in the air. Stop it. Okay, this is awkward. Ah. Uh... Hi, dang it. Puts out his you massive it. pinky nail, starts picking at his cheese like. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> All right, so you are adventurers, so I guess you want to get in. Okay. Do you remember this thing? I do. Yeah, remember we, the good times we had. You specifically we almost killed me. I saved you. From, uh, from the halfling. I meant your medical expertise. Hey. 
the, 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 you still have that leg. Regardless, we remember him. Regardless, we do have business uh, with someone inside who's currently partaking in karaoke night. I think it was called. Sure, I sure. That's right. No, yes, that's right. No, Okay, fine. I'll cut to the chase. Two gold cover charge. Oh, seriously? That's it. Each. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he put bundle puts out ten gold. Yeah. Your service is much appreciated. Don't break any windows. Do not, do not pick fights with those who are bigger than you. And please, please, do not patronize the CEO. Okay. okay. You know, that's, the third, that's the third time we've heard that. Bundle's starting to get worried. <laughs> yeah, Bell is too, kind of, but. Yeah. I'm assuming that either Fell or Bunner are just immediately gonna look at Dash and say no alcohol. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah those Dash again. Don't you dare think about drinking. Oh. oh. And you as drink. he as he uncrosses legs and opens the door for you, he's like, "All right." We step in. All right, and as as Ryan is passing, he grabs you by the shoulder. He's like, "Look." I may give you shit, but I really appreciate what you did for me, but I gave you a discount now. You tell anyone, I will person Squeeze, squeeze. Huh. Anyway, if you tell anyone I gave you a discount, I will personally, <laughs> I will personally nail your ass to the wall. Give what discount? <laughs> also, oh, so... Oh, Ron, your reason I brought him... <laughs> anyway okay thank yeah, you all right. again alright so you get inside and there's this, squeeze, this squeeze. There, yeah he grabbed your upper like your mid shoulder was like alright now what the hell yes. this is squishier than before yeah so you get inside and there is red like fluorescence everywhere this is like red candlelight is flickering all over the place. There's a whole bunch of guards and city folk interacting, and just like there's a couple arm wrestling competitions going on. There's a kegger going on Dash in the back no. corner uh, with, Dash with, no. with 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 some elves and a and a couple dragon bjorn. Inter interestingly enough, and on stage oh. is a white feathered penguin kenku. In full oh. dragon hide armor, belting out a classic, a classic, like quest, barding song. Is it good or not? Oh yeah, it's pretty swell. And there's a that couple of nice. couple of elven bards sitting there on the, on the stage with her playing along as fast as their fingers can. It's pretty <laughs> sly and pretty pretty mellow at the same time, even though the the the, the finger work is really exceptional. And <sighs> she wraps up her set and just strikes a pose with with like her like fists both in the air and the and the soldiers go yeah yeah. Bell claps you because this, Rangi, you got this Rangi Captain Chief Fat. Too. Huh? You this is on stage. This is reminding me a lot of the Phoenix Company. <laughs> And I, the, the penguin, well, same well, here. The, the penku does like finger crossbows to all the soldiers, and, <laughs> and just just slightly jumps off the stage and just grabs a grabs a flag and just ch chucks it back. I was not expecting this at all. I think and I'm gonna like going to end the session it. right there. Oh, yeah, that was, I swear to God. I will karaoke night day. <laughs> God, Dash wanted to join that kegger so badly. <laughs> no. Out of curiosity, what colors were those dragonborn? Uh, those dragonborn were gold and uh, Wait, doesn't, green. Doesn't Dash have a real big problem with gold dragonborn? 
No, he has a problem with a specific gold dragonborn, who I'm sure he will not mistake anyone else for. Anyone, thanks, so. thanks everyone in the chat for popping by and watching The Dying Was Good and Evil. We will hopefully be back on schedule for next Monday, uh, depending on my job cycle. In the meantime, thanks for stopping by and have a good weekend. And thanks for dealing with us in our haphazard schedule. Indeed. Bye-bye. I love you, Pawn. Take, Take it easy. Bye, we'll see you this weekend. Ooh.